Oh, uh, but that's wrong. There we go. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> welcome back to Ready Study Play, where we're here for game eight of Stalingrad. Ooh, yeah. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's obviously uh, Mike and Luke back again. We're doing Stalingrad game eight. This is, of course, episode five of the series, because we sometimes play more than one. Usually, We normally play more than one. We've mm -hmm. had a couple of real uh, meat grinders, but... It's true. We've had a couple of big, long battles. We had, well, one, one specifically. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Um, we'll get to the scenario in just a minute. But um, in the meantime, uh, I guess we should recap. You just won the Northern Reach. Yeah, so we, we, had, a, we had an interesting battle of uh, you arriving with some tanks, which you'd, you'd, you'd successfully got past my ambush two missions ago. They arrived on site to help you at the Northern Reach, and then... Um, Instead of shooting at my men, they just spent the time demolishing buildings, <laughs> um, which is still relevant today, because uh, as you're to going to see. Yeah. Um, but it did mean that my people got to hold on to a Northern Reach whilst uh, your soldiers were slightly confused by building demolition as opposed to going for the victory. Um, it's true. Yeah, so now we're... Uh, so we, Luke is one game up. We've we played seven. It's four versus three. Um, and if we come and have a look over here, you'll see... Um, two main things about the scenario we're playing today. Uh, the first is that uh, Luke has considerably more things than I do. Because uh, I'm doing some kind of uh, tactical withdrawal here. Yep. Um, and so Luke's still got all of his forces over there. And thanks to his victory in the last scenario, he's removed his low morale card as well. So he's not even sad about, about that. Um, I've still got low morale because I lost. And also, um, apparently... I'm not, I'm, we're, maybe we'll find out the story of why this has happened, but I've got a new platoon, and all I've got are the members of that platoon. So this is platoon C, um, up here, and we've just got our riflemen, our scouts, our engineers, and our machine gunners, and that's it. But they are all healthy, unlike your poor rifleman B. Yeah, I mean, we've got like, these no veterans pros. and no casualties. Um, the only veteran we have is our platoon sergeant, who of course was upgraded at some stage. But he I... got a medal, right? Yeah, he did. He yeah. got a medal. They gave him a medal so he'd feel good about himself. Um, we've also got a. Where is it here? We've also still got our low morale in here somewhere. Oh, I've taken it out. Great. No, there it is. <laughs> so we still got our low morale, tragically. And we've got our new squad leader, who's in charge of C. And I'm going to ask you guys a little challenge here. If you're watching this in the future, or if you're here watching it now, leave a comment down below. Is this Jeffrey Dean or John Hamm? You guys decide. Jeffrey Dean or John Hamm? Mm, it's close. And any smart ass who says it's Johannes Muller? Yeah. Yes, but not what we're looking for. <laughs> yeah, that's not the question. Obviously, this is squad leader C, Johannes Muller. But who's playing him? Jeffrey Dean or John Hamm? So. He's very handsome, either way. <laughs> and it's true. At least there's that. So we're gonna do a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, narrative introduction, aren't we? And then we're yep. gonna crack on. Well, 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 then I'll explain the objectives of this scenario. But already I'm I'm unhappy about most <laughs> things. The one thing I'm happy about, and I'll just quickly show this to you guys before we get. Uh, into the narrative here is that uh, Luke's over here he's got to approach me in this scenario so I'm holed up over here in this fortified position and over here in this terrible undefensible position but the good news is that uh, this house here the railway workers house uh, would be a good spot for Luke to advance into yeah, it used to and... be a fortress exactly but somebody turned it into rubble <laughs> with their yeah. tanks yeah, so. the tanks did a demolition job, but it's going to make my job this time a lot harder because that's still part of the terrain and uh, it sticks around game to game. So, so I'm Thanks pleased that. that that was. Uh, I'm pleased that that was not completely wasted effort. <laughs> but we'll see. I didn't know you were so anti railway workers, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <not. laughs> I'm, I'm, but I am anti their house. Anti their house. <laughs> exactly. Anti housing. Mm. Everyone knows that proper railway workers live on the trains. <laughs> um, okay, so are we going to do our little uh, our little briefings? Yeah, I think so. Uh, let me go check. All right. Well, you guys get to is. hear the briefings of the heroes. A um, gl glorious briefing here. Yeah, um, and I'll just quietly read the villain's brief. Hopefully, celebrating our wonderful victory last time. <laughs> 
Everybody listen, Anya said, standing in the centre of a flame-ravaged school building. Her squad looked at her, blank stares of exhaustion and hunger. She forced herself to smile through the grime marring her face. The rumours are true. The fascists have broken. They couldn't hold the gains they made in the north. They're retreating. There were no cheers, no, acc no acclamations, but she noted fresh focus in the eyes of those watching her. At last, an end was in sight. They had withstood the terrible storm of fire and metal, of cold and hunger and death. Victory was edging closer. They only have their rear guard covering the retreat. And he went on, pressing advantage. Our orders are to sweep them aside and rout the enemy. For the motherland! Finally, the soldiers cheered. Your recent success is restored platoon morale. Remove the low morale card. That's why we got rid of that earlier. Well... According to this, I've got my grizzled, uh, my grizzled folks here. So S Squad C, Squad C, grizzled veterans, exactly. Uh, and they're here, and they're here. So I've got my gunners and my riflemen over here, and my engineers and my scouts here. And we are going to be covering the withdrawal of platoons A and B, who are not present in this scenario. So what I've got to do is effectively hold this ground um, until such time as I've accumulated enough points. To sort of go into a retreat myself and fall back. The way this manifests is at the beginning of my turns, if I have this tile with uh, my units and none of Luke's units, I get a point. And if I have this tile with my units and none of Luke's units, I get a point. So at the beginning of a turn, I'll get two points provided this game state persists. And then once I've accumulated seven points, I need to retreat units to this tile here with a little escape feet on it. And also one to this tile here with a little escape feet on it. Doesn't matter which. And then I would win. I you, guess... I Can I win by routing your rifleman? Yeah, I think that is available to you. You can win by routing my rifleman, but as a special scenario, as a special case in this scenario, I can't win by routing yours. Because you only have one set. Um, so it so wouldn't be the, the full route isn't available to me, but it is available to you, I think. Mm. So what do you have to do? Uh, so what I have to do is... Well, stop you. Uh, so, broadly, I'm going to have to get into one of these to slow the rate at which you get points, uh, and or prevent you from getting with two people into the retreat areas up here. Um, so really I'm going to be looking to probably, yeah, I'm probably looking at disrupting one of these so I can slow the rate, and then I'll try and pick you off as you try and make the retreat, because uh, you, you have some complex things. The bad news for me is that... Uh, the, this is all very open ground and this is not a lot more sheltered so as my guys come across they're going to have a potentially tough time uh, but we'll see um, yeah uh, the other thing I could do is is uh, take control of one of the tiles in which you've put points and that would obviously that would set you back a lot because uh, you have to be controlling it still Mm. Um, so, because as you score the points, they won't go to you and sit here in like a safe zone. They want to instead go on the tile itself. So you're going to have to be holding them. Oh, to count. I see. So those will accumulate so long as this board state is like this. But if you take control of the tile, if I take control of a the tile, then they no longer count as your points. Right. Um, they will accumulate as long as you have control and have a unit in there, and I have none. Um, oh, that's uh, active units, so routed ones don't count. Oh, this all sounds very difficult. I, don't like it. I might just shoot your rifleman. <laughs> just, just, just gun them down. Well, they're currently hiding. They currently do have some good shelter here in a, uh, Grudin's, Grudenin's steam mill. Um, you have a very short deck, though. Uh, you might be very efficient. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to see how this plays out, because I've got a very short deck and a very small amount of um, cards that I can get. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, and the initiative is starting with the Soviets because, well, that seems to be the way of it. Um, but that could change very soon, let's be honest. Uh, let's have a little look and think. Okay, I think we know what we're doing. show you what I drew it was that and in here in here we have a that one mm. 
like your squad seat actually made up of Minecraft villagers? It's like the uh, the noise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like my hair staying here. Can I draw again? <laughs> well, I, I yeah. We... Is there a mulligan rule? <laughs> oh, if only, if only. Man, damn. Um, yeah, not a big fan of what I've got going on here. So let's. But uh, I guess let's just do this. Hey, are you ready? Three, two. One. One. And it. We both went for a fog of war. Well then. Um, I think you'll see in this that I wasn't really a fan of mine either. Because so I got another fog of war. Um, which is not, yeah, really the dream. Uh, and then we've got a very injured rifleman, A. <laughs> who I think, I think for now is just going to probably take a shot. We may as well take a pot shot. See what we can get. Let's go for... Uh, let's go for one, let's go for the engineer over here. Oh no, that's fortified. We'll go for the gunner over here. They're going to take a shot. Uh, it's one, two tiles away, plus one defense. So three plus four is seven. Um, so they will hit on a seven or better. And, uh, oh, six. It marks you. Would have been jammy to get one of those in early, but it would have been <laughs> nice. Um, and then we've got uh, Anya. Uh, formidable Anya, who's squad leader B, and is going to immediately do a little bolster for us. And I think what I'm going to bolster in is I'm going to bolster a. I think I want a machine gunner B, um, and we're going to take we're going to take the machine gunner with a uh, with Overwatch in it because I think that might be useful later in this story. Actually, no, we'll start with one of our normal ones. Maybe we'll go for one of those later, uh, and we'll take a. I think a Rifleman B. No, we'll take a Scout B. There we go. Uh, so that, and that's my turn. A missed shot, uh, and Anya organises the squad a bit. Uh, over to you. Okay, well... I suspect that was not the most fearsome opening hand, but yes. <laughs> well, my opening hand is all my, my guys. My um, I've got my platoon sergeant and my squad leader here. Okay, um, well, you can get organized. I've got a scout as well, so I was kind of reticent to give this up because I wanted to get rid of it. Um, I'd still quite like to get rid of some Fog of War, so I'm tempted to try and do a command too and see what I pull. The thing is, you're still sitting in this stupid house, so I'm kind of like... Yeah, you know, I didn't come charging straight out because this, this, this didn't feel like the hand for it, I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, so I kind of also wanted to go second, and if I played either of these, I was thinking I'll go first, um, and then I won't be able to shoot at you because you'll still be in the house, but you're still in the house anyway. It's deviously strategic, Mike. So the question is, do, do it's this kind of cunning strategy yeah. that <laughs> keeps you on your toes? Um, so I've got, uh, I've got Bolster 4 on my platoon sergeant, so I guess to an extent I'm trying to decide what do I want to bolster, um, I think... Um, I'm also kind of tempted to use conceal on you just because that's mean uh, and funny. It's still a slow, slow time. I mean, my, my decks. Yeah. I mean, I'm I thought I was free of Fog of War. I've already dealt with two of them. You well, I think, I think this is a kind of mission where I need to outpace you because of. Um, because I don't have much alternatives. So, yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's do this then. We'll play Platoon Sergeant to Bolster. Uh, Bolster 4. And bolster four. Oh yeah, he's got this medal. Yeah, he's got his medal, so he's he's happy to bolster four. So I think what I'd like to do is take a rifleman C. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what they're doing though. No, actually, let's not. Let's take engineer C. I've got one already in my deck. Actually, I forgot about that. Um. But I like the engineers for this one. I want two machine gunners, so let's take all the ma main that's, machine gunners. That's not really what I wanted to hear, Mike. <laughs> um, and yeah, we'll take a rifleman as well. There we go. I don't know. I'll bolster all of these. So they're going into the discard. And then what we'll do is we'll play scout for conceal. And then I'll inspire him to conceal again. So we're okay, just... so I'm, getting, I'm adding two fogs of war to my deck. One, exactly. two. Gross. I am glad I bolted that scout in now. <laughs> I think they're going to be doing work. One, two, three, four. Um, oh, and at the start of your turn, we completely forgot, but you've already accumulated two sevenths of your points for the victory. Yes. Yeah. Or one third and a half. 
How do you maths? <laughs> you probably shouldn't maths the way I maths. Um, so, I think. Uh, what are we gonna do? Yeah, that's potentially handy. So we'll. Oh, traces are hard. No, okay. I, 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 I like. I don't know. I don't like my child's son. That was rubbish. Um, I like the idea of you leaving your little house and coming to try and get. Uh, that the house is so secure and the ground up here is so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> surrounded by horribly well How it's not actually do? all that much worse than where I am quite no, I suppose that's true if I, if I had time to fortify my position or something you know that would have been uh, nice. I think uh, this is this is my play three okay. two one uh, so I've gone for an eight so you've gone for a low morale <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a choice <laughs> yeah. I should have uh, let's get away to God I'm maintaining the momentum uh, and what we're going to do is I'm going to platoon sergeant to bolster. I'm going to take uh, an extra scout. Uh, and we'll take the, yeah, the, the great scout A. Uh, we're going to take a machine gunner, machine gunner B. Um, and one sniper. I do like my snipers. Oh, my snipers all the same. Oh, we got. I think we want the sniper with attack four. It's the, the deadliest sniper there is. So Uliana gross. does a great job. Right. Um, the more fog of war we put in his deck, the less frequently we'll see her. Yeah, <laughs> I know it's true. Um, right, and this then is my strategy, my whole strategy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to the B scouts are coming across, uh, and they're going to scout. And I'm going to add some fog and water to my own deck. They are, I'm sending them straight across. Scout one into there. Ooh. Scout one of these. Scout it. And scout two into here. Holy cow. They're just straight up in Charging there. Charging across the ground. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I've got to take two extra fog of water for that. I'm going to run out of these in a moment. Well, uh, that's one, good two. that they're limited then. <laughs> yep. Uh, we I have a chunky deck already. Um, so the scout B are in there. Alright, we um, need to get them out of here, but and then that's my points. Rifleman B uh, is going to... I think Rifleman B is going to take a shot at your Scout C. Uh, so, uh, this is one, two, three tiles away, plus two defense. Um, that's ten. Uh, yes, it is, because that makes five in total, plus yeah, five from Scouts. So, oh, I'll only hit on a zero. You know what? Let's actually have a shot at the Rifleman C instead. This feels better. Uh, one, two tiles away. Seven. So, three, seven. Eight. So I got a shot on Rifleman C. Do you have a Rifleman C in hand? I do. Wop, 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 wop. That's a real pity. I'm sad. So, casualties. Well done, Rifleman B. You may be scarred by battle, but you're scarring others as well, man. The scouts are already taking casualties. It's no bueno. Oh, it was right. a Rifleman, right? Not a scout. Oh, sorry, yes, the rifleman. My my pristine rifleman <laughs> squad are already taking casualties. That's what I was trying to say. I can't have nice riflemen. I'm not allowed. Nope. All right, uh, so. my turn, and now I have fewer cards to play. But start of your turn. Big meanie. I You're getting one, one in here. Yeah, it's not enough. All right, so I think I'm going to start with, um, with my engineers, and they're going to place an anti-personnel mine. Ooh. And the, your engineers are in this one here, yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be... Um, do I have anti-personnel mines for, for side C? Platoon C? Ah, uh, potentially not yet. I don't, I don't think, think we've... we've uh, I don't think we punched them. them out. Oh my god. Don't look in the box. If you don't want spoilers, so here we are. I will find you your C mines. Um, I don't need the anti-tank ones. Uh, but I think they're double-sided. I see. <laughs> I'll, I'll give them all to you so we don't get confused later in case we're like, where where have we put those? Okay, dokie. So now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to mine at this edge here. Yeah. So if Luke tries to come in through the railway worker's house, there's a mine there. So... Okay. Uh, and then the other card we're going to play is Machine Gunner C. And he's just going to attack your scouts. So he's hitting on a 5 up. Yeah, because we're, we're, we're in the house. Uh... Zero tiles away. One def yeah, still one defense because it isn't a building, so there's so no like sixes we're looking for here. I think you might you might get a hit here. 
No, no double two three. threes. Ugh, I'm, dice games can shelled life. Dice games are the worst. <laughs> dice games rule. I love dice. So roly. <laughs> Who wants to play dice? Games? Uh, right, I got one of them, and then they're gonna reshuffle my endless fog of war deck now. <laughs> Good. I would have another point if that had worked. Uh, no, you wouldn't, because you get it at the start of the turn. Yeah, and at the start of my next turn, your oh, scouts yeah. are yes, going to be Yes, that's true. Yeah, sorry. Obviously, and exactly. actually, they would probably still be there. I don't think I could have routed them, but... <sighs> and then I'm getting one, two, three more, and they're probably all fog of war. Let's have a look, chat. How many of those are Fogger for? Um, I did, I did forget that I'd done that, and it maybe wasn't the smartest thing to have done, but okay. Um, I think I wish I had some kind of area of effect thing so I could blow up his stupid house again. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could send my engineers over there, but that feels like. A bad, a, a bad idea. Just go and demo your steam mill. <laughs> right, okay. I've made my choice. Three, two, one. What? It's a low morale. <laughs> low I should know there's a half chance turn. Mike has a low morale, basically. <laughs> oh, I've bolstered a bit more, but yeah, there was a... Uh... Yeah, there's a good chance I've got low morale. <laughs> Mac Maxim's committed to that. So, uh, speaking of Maxim, uh, it's time for a Maxim machine gunner. Oh, dear. That's a World War II gag for you. Um, so, we're going to bring machine gunners onto the field. Uh, could you pass me a gunner B, please, Mike? Gunner B? Yep. There you go. Uh, and they're going to spawn with the rifleman B over here in the steam mill. Uh, and they're immediately going to use uh, an attack two on... Uh, your gunners, because I don't like... I know you've got a load of those, and I don't like it. Uh, so they're rolling two dice, um, and they'll hit on a one, two, three, plus sevens. four. Sevens or better. And they get an eight. Do you have a gunner for squad C in hand? Nope. Uh, in which case... Time, time to, to get through with the deck. There we are. Uh, and then I've got a Rifleman A, uh, who's going to have another shot at your machine gunners there, I think. Um, so this will again hit on a 7 or better. That's a 2, which is definitely not better than 7. Um, and then finally, Anya's making another appearance, uh, and she's going to inspire those machine gunners to continue their assault. And we're going from again on the gunner's C. Um, so this is an Inspire on the B squad, attack for two, seven or better to hit, these poor machine gunners, oh no, that's a five and a two, that ain't it. Okay, at least we got, at least we got one of those gunners hit. Now let's find out what you're up to, Mike. So I'm going to start with Platoon Sergeant, uh, and he's going to command two, so I'm going to draw two cards. Here comes the gunner, see. <laughs> um, I'm going to play... Um, interesting. I'm going to play Engineer C, who is going to set up another mine over here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to play Rifleman C, who's going to shoot at your Scouts B. So this is a six. This is inside the house, yeah, so it's five plus one. Uh, eight. That's an eight. I obviously don't have one in hand. I don't have one there, so I'm going to have to go get a Scout B. Uh, uh, we're going to get rid of... Who are we going to bend? We'll bend this one. That's my first casualty. Uh, okay, okay. Like that. And uh, now I shall reveal two Fogs of War. <laughs> two Fog of Wars. You're only two Fog of War? Maybe. Yeah, probably. I don't think I've given you any and you've not generated any. So. Yep, yeah. I should have got rid of some of those when I had the chance. Uh, we, at the start of your turn, we should have put a third point in here, I think. Uh, yes, that seems right. Uh, one, two, 
Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Luke, don't yeah. do it. Just I might need to do it. Don't do whatever you're gonna do. I'm gonna place this one here. Okay. Three, two, one. All, All right. right. John Ham takes it. There we go. Is it John Ham or is it Jeffrey Dean? You decide. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I, it's Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I don't know. It's, anyway. Um, right. So I shall begin with Machine Gunner C. He's going to shoot Scouts B. Yep. Uh, so we're looking for sixes. Uh, and it's two sixes. That's definitely six. Uh, there's a Scout B in my hand. So that's good. Oh, and I need another point in here, right? Uh, yes, we're starting a turn. Yeah, a full goes in here. There we go. So, sorry, we, I forgot to do the camera there. So that's, uh, that's we're currently on five of the five. seven we need. Yeah. Um, but we'll just have to see how things shake up. All right, and then here is um, Gunner C again. <laughs> He's going to attack Scouts B again. Where's Scouts B? Uh, five and a one. It's no nope. no bueno. This sucks. <laughs> All right, what am I gonna do next? Um. Hmm. I think. I think I think we play Scout C. What are you gonna do with them? Yeah. What I think I'm gonna do with them actually is Scout Scout. That's one fog of war. And a person one of the, one of the retreat exits covered. Indeed. So fog of war goes into the discard. And that's my turn. Cool. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to get rid of those scouts before you got to actually get over there, because then you would have to go a long way around, whereas yeah, now they're That would be a in. big old pain in the ass. Yep. <laughs> um, okay, well I'm playing a scout A, uh, and I'm gonna use it for a recon to bin off this fog of war. Yep. Draw replacement. Uh, and you won't believe it, it's another fog of war. <laughs> Incredible. It's almost like your whole deck well, is fog of war. Well, <laughs> and my scouts, which I, I kindly got to get rid of it for, unfortunately, Scout B, which uh, you've been uh, <laughs> chewing through. Well, it's, he ran up in my face. <laughs> yep, no, it's true. I, I can't deny it. Um, No one saw nothing. Don't show. Nobody sees anything. I'm really good at shuffling. Great. Three, two, one. Hopefully, it's a low morale given our choice. The fast choice was it is not a low morale. It's a 10. <laughs> I mean, Can you said play something else. Uh, how's yeah. it going? Uh, you get your point. Whoop, whoop. So that's uh, currently six points under your control. Ah, oh, damn. I think, yeah, we got three in there and three in there. Now, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I thought I had seven. <laughs> I miscounted. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't have played my platoon sergeant, but that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely made a blunder because I thought I had seven. That's okay. I'll figure something else out. Oh, no, it's not good, actually. No, this is terrible. Maybe a brief or freeze for me, we'll find out. Yeah. Mm. 
Yep. Uh, I don't think there's much of useful stuff I can do with my hand now. <laughs> <laughs> What am I going to do? Um, I have to see Mike was hoping to like sprint out of here and be like, I did it. Yep, I thought I had seven and then uh, I, I would sprint out of here and win. Yep, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Uh, and now I can't. So what we'll do instead is we'll place... Two engineer C's then? Let's see. Yeah, well, squad, squad leader. Yeah, I had squad leader and, and, an, engineer, inspire, and yeah. an engineer. So I was just going to inspire my engineer to run off across the map. <laughs> that would be that. But um, he can't. He can't leave there now. So instead, what we'll do, I think, is we'll use squad leader to bolster um, rifleman twice. Yep. And we'll actually hunker down with the engineer. Cool. And then some bug of war. Okay, yeah, we're going to be in a tricky spot here. So uh, I'm going to start with playing a sniper, uh, and they're going to deploy. Okay, get the little sniper token, please. No. Yes. Uh, over here in the steam mill. No. No. No snipers. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, and Don't do it. <laughs> I think we're going to take a shot against the engineer's C. It's worth doing. Probably uh, now we need to go be able to. We need to be able to take control of a square. But you've just bolstered the gunners and the riflemen, um, and we don't want anyone running running away. No, I think we're going to take the shot against uh, the gunners. Gunners see. Uh, so we're rolling four dice, and we'll hit on a seven or better. Seems like it's not a great time to be gunner C. No. Uh, yep, that's yep, it. That Uh, and then we've got Rifleman B uh, and Rifleman B is going to move forwards one into this no man's land here shoo you, you can have a go uh, and then the last one's a fog of war so <laughs> not too exciting uh, one, two, three, four. Let's see on my deck. So, those of you who are very keen at home will know exactly what I have, but I don't. <gasps> That's pretty good. I'm a fan. Uh, okay, you three, ready? Three, two, one. Really hoping to see Lone Morale this time. It's not. It's a fog of war. So you get to keep it. Oh! <laughs> I was like, he's got out the fog of war. So he's got out oh, the Lone Morale soon. Get this one out the. No, that goes there. Yes. Yep. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play this scout to recon this fuck of war. war. Draw a... Oh, you've definitely got the seventh in now. Or the sixth in that tile, seventh overall. Mm. Well, that was useful, I suppose. <laughs> um, yep, and then I guess it's my engineers who are going to place another anti-personnel mine here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, for those of you that don't know, the engineers can't attack outside their tile. Oh, yeah. They're so they're a little limited. they're just fortifying that one position, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to start by playing my platoon sergeant to command two. So we'll do a little reshuffle. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, find out what gifts are given to us. I'm actually hoping for some fog of war. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I'm not. I can't remember what's the next round. I think I'll see what we got. Uh, we got... Uh, some some not very well looking riflemen. Something new and different for my whole uh, army. Um, so I think what we're going to do is uh, Machine Gunner B and Gunner B is actually going to Overwatch. Uh, so can I get an Overwatch marker? Uh, they should be on the tray over there. Is it B? B, yeah. There we go. Uh, and they're going to overwatch on... Uh, this is one, two tiles. This is one, two, three tiles. Yeah, they're going to overwatch there. 
So if you enter into there, I'll get to make a suppress roll uh, of... Actually, maybe we should just try and immediately suppress you. No, we like that. Yeah, we'll just overwatch that tile. Uh, so if you move in there, I'll make a suppress roll of three against the thing that moves in there. Yep. Um, uh, and then... And how? when does overwatch stop being uh, a thing? Uh, I think when you... If you get a hit against Gunner B, uh, against the Gunner's B, uh, and that's about it. I mean, also if B are routed and things like that. Uh, overwatch rules are page 24. Uh, if the machine gunning unit associated with an overwatch marker moves, suffers the casualties, or is suppressed, remove the overwatch marker from the board. Okay. So also, if multiple multiple things can go walk in there, and I get to make an overwatch, uh, an overwatch against each of them. So moving, suppressing, or taking a hit. Um, also, vehicles can ignore overwatch. Does this is this going to keep generating points even though we've run out of tokens? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there are actually three more tokens. Uh, I think you can have up to ten of them. Um, I mean, it'll actually be useful to you potentially because if I take this one, yeah, well, that's kind of what I'm there, thinking. Yeah. Um, right, uh, and then we're gonna rifleman B are gonna move into the tile over here. Oh, well, they're gonna squeeze in there, uh, and then rifleman A is going to attack. Uh, what have we seen so far? It's going to attack uh, rifleman C. So it's one, two. Where well, we know what this is, it's a seven. They'll hit on a one or better. Sorry, on a seven or better. Uh, we're rolling one dice. So that's Rifleman, uh, Rifleman C. Rifleman C, please. There we go. Um, and then we're doing the same again, but with uh, a scout. Uh, this scout who's uh, cool. So again, a seven or better. Please, please, against Rifleman C. It's a four. Well, it's not a seven or better. Okay. And you got rid of through your low morale. I was sitting here being like, sometime Mike's going to get his low morale and I'll win initiative well, yeah, with the I'm Fog of War. Resetting my deck being again. all smart, but no. I'm uh, resetting my deck again. It is true. So. Mike, I need you not, not to look at the screen for a moment. Don't, don't look at what Jack can see. This, this, this is it. It's time to execute the plan. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ooh. There's, there's strategic thinking happening over there and I don't like it. I can hear the cocks. <laughs> Okay. okay. Three, two, one. You get to keep it. Incredible. Incredible. Um, Okie dokie. So I'm going to start with uh, Machine Gunners C. Yep. And they're going to shoot at Machine Gunners A. Uh, who are or Gun Gunners, Gunners B. B. B yep. Yeah, which is a nine, I think. No, uh, it's a ten. One, two away, plus oh, two. three. Oh, it is nine. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's nine up there. Nine or better. All right. Well, and they're shooting an attack or suppression. Um. Oh, actually, suppression. Yeah, getting rid of that suppress yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think suppression just gives me oh, a better chance of success here. So that's probably a good thing. I'm sad I said anything, but yeah, I think I think it's probably cool. Uh, nope. Nope. It's all that's misses. Five, five, and a three. Oh my God, Luke! <sighs> this is ridiculous. Um. Well. That's a real pity. All right, so here's Rifleman C. Uh, they're just going to take the same shot, I guess. Uh, are they? <coughs> Actually, no. Do you know what they're going to do? They're going to move. Yeah, but actually, they're going to move back here. Because that's really that better. Safer. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. Uh, there we go. So I've just moved backwards into the house here. Um, and then I've got Engineers C. And now... 
I must decide what to do with Engineer's C. Because they're kind of useless there. But I'm extremely scared about taking them away from there. <laughs> <laughs> Understandably, yeah. Just leave me a free space to... Yeah, well, it. I mean, it'd still be, what, like four turns? Well, you'd have to get Rifle and B. That'd be two moves, one, two. And then they'd have to also control twice? Uh, they'd have to... It would get scouted. They just have to control once. Control once. But you still have to scout it. I'd have to scout it as well. You'd have to scout two just to get in there. Well, one actually. I suppose, one scout actually scout... would be a scout two, so because I could go one two or one two. Yeah, that's true. So I think actually, in the interest then of, uh, you know, keeping things uh, tense and exciting, let's move engineer C in here. Ooh. Okay, so. Uh, when a non-vehicle unit takes a movement action which, move, which would move on to fire with Overwatch, machine gun or squad associated, immediately takes a suppress action against it. Uh, so it's range 1, uh, 2, 3, 4. Uh, so it's its turns. Uh, is it that bad? 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, it is. Uh, but three dice. Don't get it. Ooh. Don't know right. are not suppressed. Things are looking tense on the board here. All right, over to you. And things are not looking good in my hand. So I played a fog of war. Here's another fog of war, and another <laughs> fog of war, and then Anya is here <laughs> to bolster. To bolster. I uh, I thought that the plan was all going together, Luke. Uh, no, 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 no. It was <laughs> really was really... my 4D bluff. Like incredible, incredible bluffery. Um, so I think what we're gonna have to take is we're gonna take a couple of riflemen bees, preferably some close quarters riflemen bee. Yeah, there's one with a submachine gun. <laughs> Uh, all, all of his Rifleman Bs are veterans, and meanwhile... Well, actually, what I've got here is a sort of a hardened squad of, of people who have not done much yet. Uh, and an extra Scout B. There we go. Now, we'll take the machine gunner. Oh, there's only a one attack. That's fine. So we've got uh, one extra machine gunner and two Rifleman Bs. And that is that, as they say. That's that. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I think we have to... I've already decided. I have to exactly believe. what to do. I know uh, exactly how to do this. Right. Three, ready? two, one. It's low morale. Come on. Yes, finally the low morale Fog of War play works. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fog of War, for being useful. Right. So, I think... Let's think how the order we want to do these things in. So, your rifle have run away. So, if we can get those gunners gone, that would be quite handy. Um, yeah, I think taking control of this square and winning like that is the faster route. There should be one more in here. Um, probably. Oh yeah, yeah if you maybe, take if you take control of that, if you I just take control win. of either of these squares, I win. Oh, I yeah. forgot that. Okay, that's bad. Um, Completely forgot that. <laughs> God, how come I'm so bad at keeping track of the objectives? Oh, game, game is hard. <laughs> hard game's hard. Hard game is. Um, we're gonna go. I think. We'll start with a with a scout attack from scout A onto those gunners. So if it's a seven or better, single die for a hit. Nope. I'm now extremely stressed out. This is not good for my heart rate. Then we're gonna go a sniper attack. No. A sniper attack four on those gunners. No. Uh, we do have a seven there. Two sevens and nine. So uh. Any gunner C in your hand? Got to go. If not, from a deck. If not, from a discard. Okay, and then. Hang on, I just need to shuffle my deck. And then we're going to inspire that scout um, to take a shot, and this time, please hit seven or better. This is the same scout. Come on. Yeah, yeah. No, it's only a six. Oh my god, this is so oh, I would have really, that would be very handy. That would have been right. so handy for you. Mike, what are you up to? All right, I... Should I have shot those engineers? I'm going to play Platoon Sergeant to Command 2. Oh no, here we go. I'm going to play Rifleman C to advance across here. And then I'm going to play inspired. Scout C. He's going to attack... Uh, rifleman B. Okay. Uh, I need. 
This is one, two, three, four, plus four is eight. An eight here to shoot Rifleman B. It's a, it's a miss. So what I'll do instead, I think, is I'll inspire Rifleman C to win. <laughs> John Ham sends them into the final uh, position. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Mike wins because he's got the seven points uh, under control here uh, and has two people in the two retreat squares. I didn't quite push you out in time. I was so close, though, Luke. Oh. It was so close. Well, I, I would have needed a whole other turn uh, because while I could have pushed you out, I would not I didn't have the uh, right. You didn't have the right. Well, that's what I mean, but actually, yeah. like, gunners were one card away from routing. Yeah. Well, they were. that was their last card, so they were about to route. And then, um, and I you, think I would have drawn a rifleman B, and I would have been a machine gunner B. So yeah. actually, wouldn't be good enough. So I, that was entirely lucky that your deck was full of bloat. Uh, but well, no, you gave me a lot of bloat at the start. Yeah, right? you which made was, a kind of strategic thing. And like, uh, yeah, I well, I I thought once I get Scout C over there, they can yeah. then sit there and continue to deliver to be bloat. And bloat. But uh, yeah. in the end, actually, I had my own fog of war problems. And my <laughs> deck was so lean that just like two fog of war was awful. I, w I, I took all my scouts trying to get rid of Fog of War, and I just I just ended up with all Fog of War or all scouts and never at the same time, so I couldn't just do the, like, spin off. It's, I only got spin off one. It does get worse. Despite getting four scouts. Oh, well, so that is a victory for the Germans. Successful successful running away. Success. Is it really victory? <laughs> I don't know. Strategic withdrawal. <laughs> Strategic repositioning. Tails between your legs. Uh, really. Right, so let's not. But you still that control away, yeah? two of the five thingies. Yeah, well, we got. Well, let's let's do our casualties and everything. Uh, before we move on, I so dropped my uh, axolotl token. It's uh, holding the spot for me. <laughs> so brave, so mighty, so <laughs> surrounded by anti-personnel minds. <laughs> yeah, I've protected the axolotl <laughs> as you should. <laughs> Okie dokie, yes, let's do casualties and veterancy. So I've, I have I took two casualties, uh, which means we're going to be drawing one card, uh, but only one of them is possible. So we're going to say that's a Scout B. Uh, I'm sorry, Oleg. Uh, uh, how many casualties do you take? Did five. I get to five? Five means I get to draw two of the cards. That's at least something. Bummer. I mean, we're gonna have a, what we're going to have here is a useless gunner squad, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Or we're already going to start having another useless rifleman squad. We've got a gunner C and a rifleman C. Spreading spreading the love or la or hate, let's be honest. Uh, bullets. <laughs> yeah. Spreading the bullets. Spreading the pain. The pain. Uh, All right. Julian Rathaman, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, is all I can say. Uh, I don't have C in my reserve deck. Oh, I don't know how this works. Maybe we'll have to have a check in a moment. Do I have right. to... Are they, maybe they're in the um, unlocks? Maybe they're in the lock decks, yeah. Yeah, maybe. that seems weird. Um, no. No. Maybe C are invulnerable? I don't know. Impervious to Impervious casualties? To get that casualties. Oh, yes, we didn't read anything really. about that, though, did we? Um, I'll have a little check in a moment, because that would be interesting. I could have played so much more aggressively. Aggressively. <laughs> uh, there's my new scout bee. She's not having a great time. And poor Oleg joins oh, yeah. the mass ranks of. Why the... is it whenever your scouts get like. They lose, lose an eye. They lose an eye, yeah. One eyed scouts, that's what you've got. Yeah, I would not volunteer to be. Uh. Casualties. Uh, I oh, don't know. No. Transmission of Stalingrad. Well, I think that, uh, yeah, I think that if I've got a platoon of invulnerable super Germans, then that'd just be great. That sounds real bad, especially yeah. given the Germans' politics. Like, <laughs> yeah. Suddenly this has become there's, Wolfenstein instead there's stuff of. stuff integrating adopted. squads. Doesn't seem likely. Uh, uh, let me have another look through my cards here. Let's see what I can't see. I mean, there's definitely none here in this reserve deck. They're all A's and B's, so... Yeah. Uh, maybe they're in the upgrade deck? Alternatively, we, we can have a little look online, see if anyone already knows. Uh, 
I mean, there's definitely veterans for them. Then it seems weird that they wouldn't be reserves. Um... <gasps> Did I get a misprinted set? Uh, uh, I'm not I'm trying, trying to only like look lightly at what's go, what, what might unlock mm. or upgrade. Yeah, um, I've just well, I've just tried to look at the letters to see if I can yeah. see any of the matching letters, but I can't find any. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe Squad C are invulnerable. We'll figure that out in a bit. We'll do that out. Yeah, we'll figure that out. And uh, we got upgrades to do, which is the good news part. Yeah. So everyone who wasn't uh, killed gets to go back in the deck, and then we get some veterans. That's nice. Um, so these two are, are sort of dead. They're existing in a limbo state right now. Oh, we figure it out. Alexander, Volg, and Julian Rothman. Uh, nope, they're gone permanently. Oof, that would be an escalation. I mean, that's what Pine Leaf Needle says, and he knows this game. Ah, uh, okay. They well. know this game, sorry. Um, wow. For every take a reserve card and replace it no other permanent casualties are replaced this means throughout the game you will always have five rope and three scout point in each squad whereas other units dwindle in size and may be lost entirely rough mm. Mm. see squad's a bad time Right, upgrades though, the good news part. Um, let's see who I'm getting. Uh, that can't be upgraded. Uh, I have a Rifleman A upgrade. No, no, they're also a shell shot. Yeah, if they've got a uh, gunk on the side, that yeah. means they're, they're reserved. Already upgraded. Already upgraded. I don't know if I used enough people who would just, just, just kill normal people. <laughs> oh, Rifleman B. Sophia is going to get an upgrade. Boom. Uh, fog of War, Fog of War. And machine gonna be, oh, they they deserve an upgrade. They did some good work this week. This uh, this time out. All right, now I've got um, rifleman C and rifleman C. Uh, but are there upgrades for these guys? There are. There are. Okay. There are definitely veteran C's for them. No, because if the but otherwise they just die, which is worse in a way. Yeah, that's rough. So we've acquired a better attack at long range and also a grenade for our space. So the grenade is useful because it ignores cover. Is that right? Uh, I can hit multiple things in one space. Oh, it can hit multiple say, things yeah, yeah. in one space. Okay. <laughs> How about you? What did you get for your upgrades? Uh, I got... Uh, Sophia learned to attack better at range, so I finally got a rifle with a better ranged attack, which I've been very excited about, because I saw you get one of those early on, and I was like, I would really love that. Um, <laughs> and then I have an area suppress. My first area suppress on Lashkin, um, after his earlier suppression book, which he didn't do a great job of, yeah, um, he... failing to suppress those engineers. Um, but, you know... Uh, um, yeah, I guess live and learn, experience, fire action. Well, look, uh, Ralph's uh, veterancy is not actual sort of veterancy so much as it is just that he's attached a scope to his rifle. I mean, you found a scope. That seems pretty useful. It's true. Do you know that is the same for Sophia? Like, she has a scope now. But I think we just found a scope. Also, it. also, good cloak, which I imagine, given the kind of quite cold conditions, would be very welcome. Okay. Right. That's that. There that's you that. have that's it. A, that's a victory. All right. Let's um, do some some writing. We'll do a, a little like figuring out where we're going. What's happened here? So there we go. So this was eighty-one. We've successfully retreated, uh, and we came from State Eight C. We've had a German victory, so we're going to Nine J. Nine J. Look at us getting through the alphabet. Yeah. That's a big jump. Uh, 9J is briefing 214. Briefing 214. J for Juliet. Uh, 214. And then and 214 is going to be scenario. 
091. Incredible. Nice. Incredible. Which I think I think we'll we'll have the the time for. We'll give it yeah. a go. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna do yeah. it? I think so. Oh, right. I want my revenge, my revengeance. After all you did was run away, it's the, like it's my time to come and press the attack. Now we have to have an actual battle. Yeah, all those cowards run away with extra soldiers who I didn't even know were there. <laughs> yeah, but can you defeat the axolotl of mines? I don't want to defeat the axolotl of mines. The, the axolotl of mines can now live in that building. I'm very happy for that to be axolotl zone. <laughs> Part of our preserve. We've um, heard of DMZ. This is a. Uh, AMZ, an axolotl militarized zone. <laughs> yeah. It's it's invulnerable and impervious. Are we staying in the northern reach for this next scenario? Oh, I don't know yet. Uh, I'll check the little map book, um, which has gone somewhere, um, potentially under here. No, nope. did I pass you the map book some, at some point? <clears throat> uh, well, there is an extra map book that will tell tell me tell us where we are. <laughs> Well, while well, I choked to death, oh, I mm -hmm. found it. Oh, well, we, we, it's because we needed to uh, get those extra mines out for your squad C. Ah, uh, scenario ninety-one. Uh, we're we're back in northern reaches, so we're going to be shifting over a bit. Um, so what are we going to? Well, gonna I still be, like, benefit from here. the tile I destroyed. Uh, Six oh nine is still in it. Yes, the railway workers building where some of my people start. They're going to be starting among the rubble in sort of their nicely little sheltered yes, railway workers' house. It was worth it. So worth it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're also going to have the L-shaped house in it, so I'm, um, where your people have just run away from. Uh, we'll, I should we'll blow that up too. I should just blow up the more <laughs> more houses. I... So rude. <laughs> just uh, blow up everything. But it looks like you're going to be trying to take the northern reaches back from you, but we'll find out. No, I don't want to have to be aggressive and lose more people. Everyone keeps dying! You've just done a retreat. Are you going to tell Kamal you're retreating all the way back to Berlin? Like, uh, yep, sounds good. I think there might be a man with a funny moustache who wouldn't be very happy to hear that. He's gonna. He might. Uh, he, he might not make it. Look. Okay. <laughs> we no, should no, probably no. probably save ourselves. Really good for all of us. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back in uh, in a minute. We'll set this up, uh, and we'll be right back for another game of Undaunted Stalingrad. So stick around. We'll see you soon. See you the big game.
All right, we're back, everyone. Turns out I was not happy about losing out <laughs> the Northern Reach. So now we're going to fight for the Northern Reach again. Which is fine, because Luke controls two things, and I only control one. So he's had two for a while, for like three scenarios. So now it's my turn. Yep. Southern Reach, two. still mine. You've got Gen yeah. January Night Square in the middle. Uh, and here you are to take your... Uh, try and re-seize control. Of the Northern Reach, exactly. We've never even been... To the... Oh, the other two are the headquarters. The headquarters, yeah. I think it would be bad news if one of those went... Oh, uh, yeah. Do you suppose that's only if things go really horribly badly? I think it might be. I think you might be pressing into the headquarters. It would be a, a rough time. Okay, interesting. I actually hadn't noticed that those were the headquarters. I assume there was further sections. So really, we're just kind of battling back and forth across these three areas. Yeah, I mean, I think that's yeah, was pretty on par for what's <laughs> for the for the history, right? It's grinding out over just kind of five hundred meters of riverbank. <laughs> historical game is historical. Yeah, and so actually, we're we're in the in the game just now. We were all of these tiles were featured. We moved just a little bit north with these ones coming in, and just a little bit east uh, with the L-shaped house back in. Uh, you may remember me complaining about the railway workers' house that's um, still here and still completely leveled. What should be a nice defensive starting base? Again, those tanks. From, uh, I'm still <laughs> salty about it, Mike. I may have got the victory. I never but knew you it got could the have. Building. I never knew it could have worked out quite so well. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah, this is an interesting one because um, I've got so I've got my same. Uh, squad is last time C now sans a rifleman and a machine gunner but I've also got squad A uh, who've come to support me and that's it but I've got a bomber as well I've got a bomber in my deck already the bomber you'll have seen once before in the previous game and other than that Luke's just got the same as he's ever had all yeah. the same stuff I'm on baseline and uh, I've lost my low morale because we were pleased with our victory so that's good and uh, the, the what we've got here is a bunch of points, um, and the Germans need to control uh, six, and the Soviets need to control ten. Yes. But you start with four. I start with four here, but then I start with zero. Yeah. Well, I start with four, but there are only seven kind of in the wild, so I need all but one points worth. Uh, so I could neglect this one, which I'll be honest, I'm probably going to go for that one. That one seems nice and easy. Yeah, yeah nice and easy. But, yeah. This lot up here, well, that's enough for you. That's six points worth. But you would need them all. Um, yeah. You got a nice run of buildings here. Yeah. Um, and you're the one with the bomber, so <laughs> those buildings might still stand. So basically, I've got my chance to get my revenge on the L-shaped house. Is what <laughs> I'm hearing. It's very possible. I also start with the initiative for once. Yes. But for how long? Come on, my scouts. Let's seize it back. Right. Uh, are we getting? We'll do a little read. Oh, yes, let's do a little story read. Um, you can start, and I will read mine quietly. Just a short one. Uh, this is briefing 214, for those of you keeping track at home. Uh, Maxim opened the tattered remains of his cigarette packet and cursed. It was empty. He slipped it back into his pocket, not really sure why he didn't discard it, and noted, as he did so, that his hands stopped shaking. That, he'd come to learn, was a bad sign. Shaking only stopped when the action was about to begin. Movement at the end of the street, Comrade Sergeant, murmured his squad's DP-27 operator. Maxim approached the slit, burrowed into the edge of the basement, and peered through cautiously. At the far end of the alleyway, of broken buildings they were overlooking, shadows flitted, ghosts made of dust and malice. Maxim glared at them. It looked like the lieutenant was correct. The German retreat from the north had been a redeployment. Now they were coming from the west, threatening to outflank the entire sector and cut it off. Maxim stepped away from the slit, smacked a hand on the operator's shoulder. Hit them, he said. And, uh, the Germans have more complicated instructions than this. They're uh, giving it a read, finding out what this assault uh, is. So it's really from. sad, actually. It's this story about how um, difficult the mission's going to be. So one of the guys is giving another guy a piece of chocolate, but his fingers are so frostbitten and he can't eat it. It's just really sad. <laughs> Uh, mine involved uh, a number of PTSD symptoms for Maxim. Oh, um, it's such a depressing game. Like the game itself is is just like quite light and quite fun, and then the actual story parts are really sad. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's, it's it's important for like grounding what you're kind of playing mm -hmm. through here. Yeah, but... it's a, yeah, it is important for the you know historical context. But we could just be playing like silly orcs and goblins or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then be less, less of a but it does at least care about some of these people and you know 
who which exactly card it yeah. removed. With those with those attacks, those attacks and dice rolls have the same stressful meaning if the game was silly. Yeah. Probably just elf called like High Elf Gubbins the Third. Oh my god, this is such a good start again. High Elf Gubbins the Third? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I love High Elf is. Gubbins the Third. Highest of the Flutin. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is. this is well, Mike's currently gloating about his starting hand. Did you get rid of your low morale? Yes. Oh. I did. When that was I me about him. to be like, Fog of War? Can I have the morale? <laughs> <laughs> no chance. Um, so Not I think anymore. Ah, oh, yeah, this is not the dream. Okay, well, it, it could be worse. I've got, I'm just going to think through my game plan for a moment because this could a lot hinges immediately on what we're doing here. I probably should have thought about it more then. <laughs> um, I still get. I think I still get kind of hung up on like pleasant little deck building things. You know, I'm like, oh, this seems nice. Uh, so I think we're gonna do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. You ready? Three, two, one. I think we're in the long haul. Oh. Nine for seven. So I will seize. That's how much I don't like not having the uh, initiative. <laughs> I'm just like, here, platoon sergeant, you've got one job, we worry. <laughs> All right. Um, Andre, our scout, is immediately going to recon to bin off a, uh, a fog, fog of war. war. Uh, so I'll move that up there. Uh, and I'll draw a placement. Uh, and then our other scout, the nameless and shell shocked, uh, is going to recon again. Uh, so bin off the second fog of war. Uh, and we'll draw this one. Uh, and then Anya arrives, and she's going to bolster squad B. Now, squad B are my ones right down in the south. Um, so they do have some work to do. I think we're going to take some rifle. Oh, you also B. control... No, you scouted that. I've scouted it. I don't control it yet. Uh, Rifleman B, we're going to have some of those. And I think probably Machine Gunner B. Uh, who has some rifleman? That's a, that's a competent looking Rifleman B. Uh, that's one of my bolsters. And the other bolster is going to be a Machine Gunner B. Oh, that area suppressed does look juicy. Um, but I think... Maybe, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see what that's about. We'll check out our oh, Aeris Press. Ignacy did such a good job last time. <laughs> so, action. Okay. Uh, over to you, Mike. Fantastic. I'm uh, going to play Scout A, and I'm also going to do a recon to get Fog of War out of my deck. And that means I can draw a card. Bummer, 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 bummer. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. Put Stoon Sergeant. Yeah. You need to command and try and cycle through or bolster, get yourself set up. Yeah. I'm, the, the, these I early mean, turns, that, that choice is like hard. Like I I put putting down my platoon sergeant for the tempo <laughs> I was not a huge fan of. But the issue I, I had the scout and I had the fog of war. It's like it's gonna be better to slim my deck. Yeah, after your experience just now. <laughs> oh god <laughs> horrible stuff uh, yeah I really want to command to and just do more stuff right now do it do it it's very tempting your platoon soldier will come back faster if you do that you do make a good point I'm doing it alright cool so let's bomb the L shaped house <laughs> oh, okay, so we have bomb on the L-shaped house. So I can bomb the house first, and then yep. the residence. Yes. All right, so it's going to be three die rolls. Three dice against the house, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's three dice into the house. Now, what I'm looking for is an eight or more. Yep. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the house immediately comes crumbling down. Yes, uh, I am destroyer Do you want to find a... Things. It's 411, the L-shaped house. Uh, is it the bigger tray or the smaller tray? It should be in the smaller, smaller side. That is the like. That's the, the that alternate ones. In, yeah. Okay. Um, and it should be towards the front here because it should be four one one B. My fingers are too fat. Do you want me to have a hunt? 
Your tiny little fingers. <laughs> Dude, I'm sure tiny I'm Soviet sure. fingers. Jen, Jen Lennon died. <laughs> All right, uh, B, is it? Tile yeah. B? 411B, it should be. Nice. Uh, so the L-shaped house, its its cover has dropped by one, so it's gone from a three to two cover. Um, still worth two points, though. Uh, and it's also easier to destroy now, so I feel another building in the Northern Reach is maybe crumbling soon. Um, yeah, we're going to regret this when I have to hold the we'll Northern Reach. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that later. Uh, okay, so uh, now I attack the people in the house. So yep. Do they get co house they cover? They get the building cover, yeah, but there's okay. no range. Right, uh, so this so... is six onto the rifleman. Then. Yep. Uh, they're safe. And seven onto the scouts. Uh, they're not safe. They're not safe. That's a scout A for my play area then. Straight to the casualties. Oof. Oh, and that's scout initiative eight scout. That's my initiative eight scout. Yeah. Yes, I'm good at getting those guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like those scouts. All right. Now, I was going to... One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. It doesn't... It hasn't made a difference. But you know what? I'm still tempted to do it. I'm going to... Uh, oof. No, I think this is a better move, even though I don't like it. So I'm playing my rifleman. Now this is uh, the reason I'm deliberating is this is my elite rifleman with a better range. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just playing him to move up into. Uh, move forward. Oh, that's rifleman C. I need rifleman. Rifleman A. a there up here. Yep, I got him. Okay. What? So they're advancing into tile three hundred eight A. And my last card's fog of war. So. Cool. <sighs> Building. Scout already gone. Okay, three cards for me, and then I'm going to be recycling. Me too. It begins. Let's see what we got. So, we're holding the initiative. when you are three two, two one. one it's a five it's a seven seven Gentlemen. give me that back yeah all right so i shall begin my turn with a scout reconning a fog of war and nice because i want to see what i'm going to get before i decide what to do with my next card does make sense yes okay cool interesting i've played some board games before <laughs> <It's>... getting a sense. <laughs> i'm doing sensible things <laughs> Oh, this is really interesting, actually. Um, oh, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play Rifleman C, and they're going to advance into this house. Mm. And I then I'm... I had a bomber. <laughs> no bombers <laughs> for you! So uh, Rifleman C's joined Rifleman A in there? Yep. And then I shall play uh, Squad Leader C my handsome Johannes, and he's going to uh, inspire Rifleman C to shoot at your Rifleman A, I think. Oh, I could shoot at your One, Rifleman two, B. Three, so it's nines on your Rifleman A and eights on your Rifleman B, even though they're kind, they actually kind of the same distance. Two, three, four, yeah. So I'll tell you what, let's shoot at Rifleman B. Let's see okay. what we can Rifleman do. Rifleman B is there. one, two, three away, plus one for cover, so that's four plus four, so eight or better. Yeah, although I do kind of like the idea of shooting at your Rifleman A and getting... getting. Yeah, let's shoot at Rifleman A. I, I don't like the idea of them advancing into my zone of things that I want to own. <laughs> your zone uh, that's uh, that's yeah. technical, tactical language. <laughs> in case you didn't understand what I was saying there. So I'm looking for... What did I say? Nines? I'm looking for nines. I've got two dice because these are my sharpshooters. Oh! I would have missed both, so it didn't matter. In the end. Cool. All right, that's my turn. Well, speaking of what you didn't want the right from an A to do, that is what they're going to do. They're going to move <laughs> from ah, here into it. school Those number jerks. 38 and get out of the bombing zone. Like, hopefully, spread out a bit, and this might get a bit healthier. Uh, right from B, also going to spread out. I'm going to move here uh, into this this tile, which looks like it might be moving forward, but actually, because this building's so destroyed, and this one has a little bit of fortification, this space is actually just as safe. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what I was thinking about that house. Like, I can advance towards you and then actually end up with more cover. Uh, and then squad leader A, Maxim, uh, is going, uh, I think, going to go and get a scout for me. 
it's going to be that one. So we're bolstering for a scout and bolstering for an extra rifleman. Um, no, no more Russians. <laughs> more, more Russian riflemen. Ready to roll. Uh, yeah. Great. Uh, so that's that's that done. Let's go. I'm concerned by the ominous rule looking up happening next to next day. <laughs> Why? I, I got it. <laughs> I'm like, when do I get C back? When do I? <laughs> I need my people back. Right, four for me, four for you. Uh, let's see what we're up to. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, okay, I think... It's not what I want to do, but it's probably what we have to do. Ready when you are. Three, two, one, reveal. I'm going seven. You're going five, six. Six. Oh, back to me. Right. Uh, and we're going to have Machine Gunner B appear. And they're going to appear in here in the fortified one. Uh, so could you pass me a Gunner B token, please? No! No, they're dead. Uh, uh, thankfully, they are absolutely not dead. I ate them. <laughs> I ate the token, <laughs> so you can't use it anymore. Um, and then... I think they're going to make an area suppress against your rifleman. Uh, so they're going to—it's one, two away, uh, plus two cover is four, and then they're each four. Uh, so I'll roll two dice and hit on eights. Now I'll go for rifleman C first. Uh, yep. We suppress the rifleman C, uh, and then going to have the same against uh, rifleman A. And we yep. suppress that suppress one as well. Them both. Did you just not like fun, Luke? I do not like fun. I, I want you to get bogged down over there. That would be so lovely. Just implementing Misago here. Um, and then I'd like you to have a uh, fog of war. <laughs> God's sake. That's right. This is all about the Mike misery maximization. <laughs> this is just not what we to play this, this is, game. This is Maxim's Mike, Ma Maxim's Mike misery maximization <laughs> emission. There you are. Uh, and then we're going to bolster. Uh, and what we're going to bolster... I wish I, I have anti tank guns. What I'd like is anti aircraft guns. That's not a thing. Uh, but what are what is a thing is anti people guns. Uh, and so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bolster a rifleman. Uh, uh, no, I'm going to bolster another rifleman B and two snipers. Oh yeah. Uh, and that's that's me, uh, right from the beginning. Sniper's in there, that's my play area. What's up, Mike? Okay, so I'm gonna start with um, a Rifleman A, who's just gonna now reappear. So just unflip this. Yep. And then I'm gonna play um, the bomber. Where are you bombing? Uh, I think I'm gonna bomb these two guys. Cool. So I can't destroy the fortifications. No. But what I can do is hurt your dudes. It's only so sixes. sixes it, yep. So we'll start with uh, let's start with Gunner's B. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, and that's got to be that one from my play area. So that's the area suppressed guy. He's out. And then Rifleman B. Uh, and there's Nate. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Uh, I gotta find a Rifleman B. Do I have a choice? I do. It's gonna be that one. I'm gonna be that one. <laughs> Cool. Alright, and finally I've got my platoon sergeant. Oh. And he's going to bolster, I think. I was considering another command, but I think it's time for some bolstering. I think I would like to have some machine gunners. Um, I think I'm happy to just take some machine gunner A's. So we'll take... Um, ooh. We'll take these two machine gunner A's, and then we'll take, I think... Another Rifleman A. And a Rifleman C as well. Go. Cool. Oh. The, wait, the grenade is... Yeah, okay, never mind. Grenade is like space zero, so we have to be sharing a space for that one. But I was just trying to remember the advantage of the grenade. Like, does it ignore any terrain or anything? Yeah, the advanced brigade hits everything in space. 
Ah, yes, it hits all enemies in the same space. Yeah. But that's a that's kind of only useful if you've got loads of guys in the same space. Yeah, if we end up in some kind of like a house to house fight, which honestly not that unlikely given yeah, this, this pretty one there. pretty likely. Although your house is better than mine, so maybe I should have bombed that house. <laughs> <laughs> but I kind of want to be there. <laughs> like, also, I think the house I'm in was bombed once. I don't know. I can't. It's hard. Oh, no, it this can't one. be. It can't no, be. No, it's still a. Like, it just. It just wasn't as well fortified as the L-shaped house or what was the uh, railway worker's house. Yeah. All right. I need to get some cards out here so that I can uh, make a decision about this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Cool. Three, two, one. Oh, you've won it again! <laughs> Who is that? Oh, it's just Scotsy. Narrowly. Hanging out. Um, right, then we're going to start with a conceal to give you a fog of war, please, Mike. Note that after your turn, your cards in your play area move to the discard, so you might have a bit more choice about who gets hit by an attack. Okay. Ah, thank you very much. So, what's happened here? Uh, I'm giving you a conceal. More fog and wolf for you, Mike. Oh my god, what is this nonsense? I had a nice lean deck. Uh, uh, and then we're going to... Uh, Yuri's going to command, draw us two. So I really should have done this first. <laughs> um, we're going to... Anya's going to inspire uh, to give you another one. Please, another conceal. More fog of war. Um, and then uh, we're going to give you a third one, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we got an agenda here. Um, I'm so excited for when I scout and there's no fog of war in my deck. And then I think it's time for a sniper to come in. Uh, and this is this is kind of a question about what we do here because this isn't the perfect time. I would like to hide a bit more. Right. The things. sniper can only appear here and here. Here or there. I think they're going to go and appear in School 38. Uh, mm -hmm. So close range. Um, so could I get a sniper token in there, please? Yikes. Don't like it. Um, and then what they're going to... This sniper is going to do an attack. Uh, and they're going to attack uh, Rifleman A. They're going to attack Rifleman C. Rifleman C. Uh, uh, so they are one, two away. Um, two for cover is four. So four plus four is eight. Uh, they'll be rolling three dice, eight or better to get a hit on row from C. Yep, yep, yep that's a hit. Ten, so. Uh, womp, 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 womp. There's that from hand. Delicious. Yep. Is that your first proper casualty, though? Uh, yep. Yep. Um, okay, it me? Yes. Okie dokie. I'm going to uh, start by playing these bombers. <laughs> Where would you like to bomb, Mike? Uh, I'm going to bomb your snipers, jerk. Cool. Uh, house first, you got three house dice. Yeah. It's eight, eight on defense. We're looking for eights. Yeah, do not like. I oh. got it! Yes, cool. continue. We need to go and find 310B. I, I just want to see all the alternate tiles. I want to show oh, as much of the game as possible. You want to just level the entire city to rubble. Um, God, I also really dislike snipers. They're so scary, and I don't have any right now. Is this school 38? Uh, it is school number 38. Not a massive fan of blowing up a school. Yeah, well... I think there's lots of things to not be a fan of in your current... Uh... <laughs> in my current setup, it's <laughs> true. Yeah. Current political setup, yeah. Yeah. Oh, bugger. Okay. Okie dokie. And now I guess we're going to bomb um, the snipers. Snipers first? Yeah, cool. so it's sevens. Yep. That's a 10, so... 10. Get them out of here. And then it's Rifleman A. And there's a 9! Oh! I don't think I have a Rifleman A in there, so we have to go through here. Uh, I'm going to choose that one, thanks. Cool. Uh, i got to shuffle this, but there's only four of them. Uh, yeah, there are only four cards in there anyway, so it doesn't really matter how much I shuffle it. My uh, second card is a Machine Gunner A. Oh, is it appearing in that space? He is. More juicy targets. Um, and he's going to shoot at one, two, three, four. So it's either Rifleman A's on high number, or it's 
um, so riflemen A's on eights, or snipers on nines. <sighs> You've got one more sniper card in that deck. Yeah, rifleman is how we win. <laughs> so let's shoot rifleman A. That's definitely not an exemption, right? If I route this right. Nope, nope. Yep. I think the only time it's exempt is that one scenario we just played where it says, I mean, there might be others later on. But... Uh, there's a six and a three, which is nine, so that's a hit. <laughs> nope, nope. That's a different game. <laughs> God damn it. All right, cool. Go. Cool. One, two, three, four. Seven, you get, you steal it. There you go. Yes, Your Highness, I love you, Your Highness. <laughs> You're my best guy. All right, I'm playing a scout to recon a fog of war. <laughs> uh, draw a card. Okay, I'm gonna play a uh, rifleman A. Now these are he's the one that's un yeah, unsuppressed. Not currently suppressed. And uh, he's also my long range guy, so he's going to try to take out your snipers looking for nines. Cool. Uh, no! Nope, but it's a six and a one. All right, so I probably should have taken control of that square. That was silly. Um, but the temptation is always there, is the issue. Yep. So here's a machine gunner A who's going to. Uh, yeah, there yeah but he's going to suppress. Suppress. What is he suppressing? The snipers. Snipers. Okay, so, so four dice, there. nine so or better. Suppress the snipers. Doesn't oh get it. God. That was a bummer of a turn. Right, over to you. Uh, well, uh, you've drawn the attention of uh, those snipers, that's for sure. Uh, so a sniper immediately going to fire back. Uh, so uh, And he's going to fire on rifleman... A. Yep. Um, uh, so four dice hitting on a one, two, uh, plus four is eight. Eight or better. Yeah. Get it? Oh, you really got it. I mean, you crushed that dice roll, yeah. which is why I keep losing, because this is just a silly dice game. <laughs> Say that now. Wait wait until Mike wins, and then it'll be like, oh, it's, oh, it's all skill. Thing. It's all it's skill, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Um... I seem to only have one rifleman A in my discard here, so that's great. Cool. Uh, and then rifleman B, uh, she's going to make the same attack, but rolling just two dice against rifleman A as well. So she needs uh, one, two, three. Four, she six, needs eight as eight. well. No nines, right? Uh, oh no, she's there. Sorry. Oh no, it's, no, it's, it's this is, one. No, this is B. Okay. You're right. Sorry, it's one, two, but it's still the same thing. One, yeah. two, plus two plus two is four plus okay, so four. It's eight. So, so that's C or A? This is going attacking A. A. They get an eight. Oh god. No, oh, so I've mounted yet. Taken one out. Um, and then machine gunner B. Uh, gunners B are going to. I think. Oh, well, there's no point in us suppressing that. I would like to suppress your bombers. Can we point these at the sky, please? <laughs> um, Should have brought some flat cannons. I think we're going to make another attack against... Uh, we'll make the attack this time against Rifleman C. Uh, no, we'll make the attack against Rifleman A. See if we can push them out of here. So this is two dice again. Eight or better. No, that's an eight in total. Not eight or better. Great. Uh, are you ready for... Here we go. The next round. Yeah, ready to continue this absolute carnage. carnage yeah, yeah, it's who needs these objective points anyway? What's all that about? Uh... Uh, just you know, uh, how do you how do you think this is going for you so far? Do you think you're winning or? 
I think it's pretty close. I think we're both we're both in a bit of a problem. I think neither of us really fancy going to get those objective points, so we're just trying to see who can shoot out the, the stuff. I think I get to take a lot of casualties, but I feel like my deck is like slightly more efficient than yours, so I'm hopeful that I can get through it and get it done before Vengeance is reaped. It's really going to depend on those bombers, though. That's I'm not enjoying seeing those bombers at any point. Uh, and who can go first in each of these like, what is the price you want to pay i think i think this is my card three two one seven what do you i also have a seven. seven. Oh, you get to keep it oh, huzzah the worst <laughs> okay interesting 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 okay well um i haven't even scouted any of this stuff no, I'm hopeful that like I can make it basically impossible for you to win by like hitting your weapon enough now that you that like will most end up taking monstrous casualties. Um, but just so that you can't really get through the stuff later, because if you keep leveling this building, you've got to go get that building. So <laughs> if you want to take it to the ground, uh, sometime later, my my machine gunner squad A, fresh faced, will uh, return fire. Yeah, it's true. So you could always withdraw, Mike. You know, <laughs> you could withdraw, I'm, Luke. I'm I'm confident of victory. You should withdraw. <laughs> confident. Well, let's have a look here. If you take control of that thing, how many points are you on? You'll be on three of the ten that you need. No, you. I'd be, be on, on six, six and then potentially ten. seven of the ten I need. Yeah. And then you see, my problem is that I have to get this square in order to get to ten points. Mm-hmm. Um, which is why I met. Uh, which is one of the reasons I'm firing on it now, right? Because like it's kind of achieved two purposes: one, mm. potentially pushing it out; two, getting casualties away from them. Yeah, no, without a doubt. I mean, because ten is just ten is all but one, so I can just ignore like this one or this one, like, but they don't. I think it should be a new rule where bombers have to have scouted the building they want to hit. Like, <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, just like, though, doesn't well, it? I don't know which building. You need to, like, pop the flare down to be like, this one, guys. Otherwise, what is it? It's just, just a lot of rubble. It makes sense, though. All right. Well, the thing is, I'm kind of torn in this position where, um, strategically, I'm not really sure what to do. Um, <laughs> withdraw. <laughs> withdraw. <laughs> it's very like, simple. <laughs> well... There's a lot of anguish on Mike's face. I hope the camera is picking it up. <laughs> it's not a happy commander. No. He's not currently a happy commander. Um. I hope it's all fog of war. I hope Mike just played the seven and was like, I've done this so I can show you. Through. Oh, I'm gonna, you'll see why in just a minute why I have so much anguish, but I think I'm gonna commit to this because I think it'll be funny. And also if I don't, then um, it would just be a shame to miss out. Okay, okay. You know, it'd be a shame. Are you, are you trying to go for the win here? Is that what's Yeah, I, well, I mean, yes. I think, I mean, the. I don't know about the win. I'm gonna try to route Getting the aggressive, rifle yeah. minute, I think. But we'll see, we'll see what happens here. So, um... I'm going to start by playing Rifleman C, which just un-exhausts them. They're, so like, they're, yeah, okay. they're not suppressed they anymore. Their head back up. Yeah, they're they're okay now. Uh, I'm going to play Scout C to put a Fog of War in your deck. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I'm um, just being a jerk like that. Uh, and now I'm going to play Platoon Sergeant, and I'm going to bolster. And I'm just going to take two Rifleman A. Um, they're all pretty bad. So I'm going to take a couple of reservists anyway, and I'll take um, a oh, rifleman. Oh, I can bolster four. C, oh, and I think I'm going to take Scout A, particularly because he's got guide on him, which is nice. And yeah. then immediately after I resolve my platoon sergeant, I can announce my secret flanking rule. What? Yeah. What? There's a secret flanking rule? Where are the panzers coming from, Mike? I'm going to announce the secret flanking rule. So can I give you this? 
This is a real thing. <laughs> this is a real thing? <laughs> this is a real thing. I'm not making this up. I like the sound of this. This is the anguish, right? This is why I was anguishing. So, um, I'm going to come at you from uh, the well, west. Like a rifle bee appearing from the west. That's over... So, this is the northern reaches. The west is over there. That's where you're already coming from. Oh, this, this is, is the west. That's the west. Yep. Wait, north, which... is, north is this way. South is that way. East oh, okay. So, I'm way. coming from the south. You're coming from the south. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, can you kindly retrieve tile 506 and 507A, and then 606, 607, and 608 as well? Uh, 506, 507, did you say? Uh, yep, yeah, 506 and 507A, and, and then, then 606, and 607, and 608 as well. 606, 607, 608. Oh, this map's getting bigger. All right, now the, these are over here. Uh... Yeah, they are. All right, that's my hand. Let's put that there. Uh, 506, 507. Yep. And then uh, the sixes are along the bottom here. I think this is, by the way, uh, just between you and me, I think this is a terrible idea. But, it's, it's cool. I mean, this feels cool. like... It would be a shame not to do But it. this is the area where I've just come from. So what is what horrors await me in this, in what I thought was my safely held well, territory? Currently nothing. I think you'll be... A little underwhelmed by what happens here, but um, but also it would be a real shame not to do this, and I don't see the advantage of waiting and doing it later. Um, I mean, I was thinking about it, but I am concerned that you'll just muller my two rifleman units to the point where this is kind of pointless. Um, so, in this space here, we have the very terrifying Scouts A and Rifleman. It's Scouts Squad B. B. It's Squad B. Squad B has arrived. Um, there's going to be a Scouted Token here, and a Scouted Token here, and a Scouted Token here. Now, the downside that of this is, is I have added additional victory points to the board, and now I, yeah. too, need to con conquer 10. Cool. The upside is... Uh, there's also another downside, which is something I'd considered, and um, I am disappointed about. The other downside is I lose the bomber. The bomber is called off because the reinforcements have arrived. <sighs> okay, okay. But the upside is that... Um, you get some Rifleman B in your deck. Not only do I get Rifleman B and Scout B in my deck, but I unlock all of my other cards. I see. Okay, this this is really escalated as a conflict. Indeed. So I get um, to put... I don't... Do I get Squad Leader B? I assume I do. Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oddly enough, I don't. You absolutely certain? That seems unlikely, because how else will you bolster Squad B from now? I guess with the Commander is the point. Yeah, I guess so. All right, so... Or platoon Sergeant. I guess Squad Leader B is in wow. this one out. okay, this is, this is crazy. <laughs> but here's Squad B, uh, Scouts B... Machine Gunners B, Engineers B, the Snipers are here now as well, and also all the tanks. Um, so, bear with me for a moment. What I have to do is find a Rifleman B to put into the fight. Uh, yep, we'll take him. And we need a Scout B. Do I have a good Scout B? No, Scout Bs are all completely untouched. None of the reserves, and none of them are veterans either. Um, and then once I've added those two to the deck, I'm going to give it a shuffle. Ah, oh, this this really changes the picture for me as well. This is everything I'm going to think about. <laughs> I was like, I know how I'm doing this, and now, now <laughs> ten points are more available too. You see, like uh, they are more available. Yeah. A temptation because I, I I can now you know I can now have seven points here so when I only find uh wait no hang on I would have six seven points there so I'd need eight nine or seven yeah eight nine ten would probably be the easiest way or just charge down here leave them you know grab that one leave that up there to defend and bring everyone else down here and try and secure these and scare off squad B. And my snipers are poorly located for taking care of uh, Rifleman B. 
If this is a long shot, they're one, two, three, four, five tiles away, so that's basically always going to be a ten. Okay, now I'm just going to tidy this area up, but otherwise my turn is over, so you can play. Great. Wow. Okay, we have stuff <laughs> just, to it, think but about. How, yeah, it's what, cool. It would be a shame if I didn't do it, right? Like, like, we played the whole scenario and never did that. Well, that was me being all salty about my ten points. This makes a little more sense now how I would get some. But Yeah, but oh. I mean, I could have just never done that. Yeah. Um, and I think it probably would have actually been better to never do that, but I don't know. So, anyway, I think it was fun. Maybe. Okay, so I'm going to play Rifleman A to control this, then. Uh, and then we're going to play Gunners B. Uh, and I think Machine Gunner B is immediately going to have a pop at uh, the Rifleman B. Yep. Uh, so one, two, three tiles away, plus one, so four. Uh, so we'll hit on eight or better. They get it. So a rifleman B, please. From the deck. B into the bin. Unless you've got one of your discard pile. Nope. Uh, of course not. <laughs> I've just added it. Yep. Uh, and then Scout B. Scout B, we have, you know, I was just going to be like, Mike, have a fog of war. Uh, but now, Scout B could do some work. I think... I think it might be necessary. Scout B would not be long for this world, but we, maybe we don't mind. Yeah, I think Scout B is going to go one, two. We're going to double Scout, and we're going to try and get into the Steam Mill before you do. Do you need some tokens? Yes, please. Two Scouted tokens. Two Fog of Wars, of course, for my deck. One, two. And there we are. Here's some more tokens in case you need them. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Alright. Is that uh, it? Yeah, that's that's that. Oh, it's all got spicy suddenly, Mike. <laughs> two, what fun! Three, I'm gonna have to slightly rejig my play area. There we go. That's gonna be my discard area deck and my play area. Uh, hopefully that aligns with the camera. Um So, uh, mm. yeah, we, we've got decisions to make now. Is the issue? Uh, let's go have a look at what's going on here. Okay. Uh, Uh, and you've got the initiative, don't you? Currently. That's very rude. Uh, right, okay, so. Ready when you are. This is Bomber Cam. This is Bomber Cam leaving the field. It's last aerial view of what's going on. Make sure you have SLB in your supply just in... Oh, Squad Leader B. Oh, I can bolster Squad Leader B. Yeah, okay. with your um, platoon sergeant. I can't bolster the bomber back, though, right? <laughs> I don't think so. I think... Well, it depends what it told you to I'll do I'll check the, bomber, the text, but I'm sure, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Remove the bomber card. Yeah, remove is not going to be a. Remove is not. Add it. Put it in the back in the supply. No. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sad. I'd like the bomber to come back. I don't know why it abandoned me just because I brought in some reinforcements. But there you go. <laughs> and uh, plainly from deals. Thank you for your um, continued rule support. It's yeah, much absolutely. appreciated. Cheers. Three, two, one, seven, one. It's not okay. Good. Slightly erased it, but. Initiative it is. Um, right, and then... So we're going to have Scout A to give you a Fog of War, please. Uh, Yuliana, my favourite sniper, with a four attack roll, is going to make that attack uh, versus uh, Rifleman C. Uh, so uh, we know this one, it's four, plus two tiles away, plus two cover, and four plus four is eight. Hits on eight or better. I mean, yeah. Yep. Yep. It, I was going to say, it'd have to be an incredible whiff. Uh, so one minus 0.8 to the power four. Okay. Right from and see. Yep, okay. And then uh, we're going to have Platoon Sergeant. And with the Platoon Sergeant, I think we're going to bolster. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to bolster a Rifleman A. Um some Rifleman B's uh, which is going to be 
those two. No, we're, we're just one of them, uh, which can be uh, that one for now. Uh, and the third bolster, gosh, I love your bolster four, I would, I would be a fan, uh, <laughs> is going to be a machine gunner A, uh, where we're going to take... Oh, we have a lot of elite machine gunners A. Um, I think we're going to go for the better attack or the area suppress. We'll go for the area suppress one. No, we'll go for the better attack. There we are. Great. Okay. And that's me. Uh, and now, sorry, you you are still to go. Yep. Wishful thinking on behalf of Soviet command. Okay, I'm going to start by playing Scout A to recon this Scout B, goddamn yeah. fog of war. Yeah, Scout B, sorry. There we go. Get that out of here. Draw a card. All right, neat. Um, Rifleman A is going to take control of this space because mm -hmm. that's how we win. And Machine Gunners A are going to try to kill your sniper. Okay. Uh, uh, so it's so, nines, isn't it? Uh, uh, yes, nines. Four plus, four plus nine. Four plus five. Plus five. And it's two dice. two dice. Damn it! No, it's a six or three. It. Charmed life of Juliana. I mean, it's hard to say anyone's got a charmed life out here on the, on the <laughs> starting ground, but uh, yeah. we've got one of them. We're all just in different degrees of awful. Yeah. One, two, three. Every time you, every time you pick quickly now, I'm like, oh, I hope it's low morale. And I remember, no, they're apparently happy again. The buggers. <laughs> There's no low morale. <laughs> no low no, morale. No, I'm just either. good at picking quickly. Uh, yep. Uh, well, this is my selection. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, Five six. and six. Oh. I've done it! Uh, just got one off my yeah. Alright. Look, this is the round where we kill that sniper. Um. Yeah, so... Remind me again. Guide. What's that do? Let you move another unit in the squad mark. Right, move a different unit. Um, again, only into scouted territory. But... Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, I thought it was all the same controlled as... territory. Of course. What's the one that lets you take an action with another unit? Then uh, it, uh, is it command? No, let's draw cards. Command. Maybe there isn't such an action. Maybe I'm just making shit up. But guide is just something scouts do where they can get an extra bit. or okay. get something else to move rather. Well, that's fine then. I there think... is assault which lets you move and attack. Let's start with gunner A. Gunner Should A. Juliana again. Cool. Uh, two, two dice, nines are better. Come on, Juliana. You can survive this. God yes. damn it! She does. <sighs> okay. Uh, and then it's... Um... Bad news o'clock? Yeah, I guess so. Fog of War, Fog of War? No, it's Scouts A. Scouts A. And they're going to scout. They're still around. They're actually going to do it. They're going to go one, two into here and scout this space. Cool. Uh, take in, and then take the a fog of war. Oh, yep. Thank you. And then the final uh, card here is a rifleman A. They're a reservist, so they can't really attack. So really, all they're going to do is advance up to here. Cool. Right. Um, so I'm going to be... Uh, machine Gunner B is going to come into effect. Uh, and Machine Gunner B is going to have a shot at uh, Rifleman... Probably Rifleman A, actually. No, they'll go for Rifleman B over here. Uh, so it's one, two, three tiles away, one cover. Um, so four plus four is their thing. Uh, this guy's got two. Can I do get luckier than Mike? Yes, of course I can. God, this is ridiculous. Uh, well, they're that's a hit on Rifleman B. They're, they're routed, routed, are they? That's all you can really do is move them here. <laughs> uh, or leave do them I where they are. To? Yeah, no, I want to move them there. That's that's nicer. Yeah, can I find the routed tokens? A little white flag. There's too many tokens in this truck. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, and then Rifleman B then, who are actually going to move, I think. No, they're going to control this space. Wait, what are we at? We're at six. That'd be seven, eight... 9, 10, yeah, so we do need to control this. Rifleman B will just control that. It's a bit of a shame, but okay. Uh, is that is that a same thing to do, 6? So, yeah, we would need that and that to win on 50 points, so. <laughs> and then my last one's a Fog of War. Okay. okay. Three. 
three, two, one, seven, fog of war. I will take it back, thank you. Uh, we're gonna scout to recon out this fog of war. Draw a replacement. Uh, and then, uh, we're gonna have Juliana, uh, who's going to bolster uh, squad B. Uh, and squad B, that's very underwhelming. That extra, uh, we're going to have an extra rifleman in. We're going to bolster with a rifleman and bolster with a machine gunner. I think. No, we're going to bolster not the rubbish machine gunner, but instead the one of these two scouts. Probably the scout that has uh, an attack of some sort on it. Uh, so scout B and rifleman and not a machine gunner. Cool. And then my last card is Fog of War. Over to you. Okay. I will... Um, I'm going to play Squad Leader A. Who's going to balls... Uh, who's going to bolster Squad A. I'm going to grab my... Um... Rifleman and mm. an engineer. Okay. Which engineer we got there? Just a general engineer. Right, just normal engineer guy. I'm going to play. What are you going to be doing? Rifleman, rifleman C. Are demo C. Feature? Oh, rifleman He's C. going to move into here. Cool. And then I'm going to inspire him to take control of this space. Cool. Nice. Okay. One, two, three, four. Three down, seven to go. Yeah, that, yeah, that is the case. They are hard to hold on to. No, I just need to get the right ones on the top. Of it. <laughs> or maybe the wrong ones. I would I would appreciate that. Maybe just like a squad leader and three fog of wars without a scout. Oh, that'd be lovely. Three, two, one, so six. Five and six. Oh. It mine. Okay. I'm gonna start with uh scout doing news. a recon. This could be very bad news. Okay. I think it'll be alright. Um yeah, that's a pity actually. Yeah, that's a shame, but it is what it is. Uh let's Tense about what you might be doing here, Mike. Just let them live. <laughs> Just let them live. Please. So, I've got Rifleman A and Rifleman C. Oh, but what can they do? Are they both advancing into in this house. Walk? Yeah, they're both okay. just walking into the school. I think. I had debated sitting here and shooting at you, but I'm tired of missing. That's going to be an interesting time. 
And I drank all my coffee, so. <laughs> <laughs> so there is sadness in the mic side. Oh my god. I can't believe we're all just hiding out in this same spot. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be juicy. Um, I think we just have to start the in-house fighting. Um, so what do we start with? Yeah, okay. So I think... Let's have Scout B. Scout B's gonna go for a very long range ambitious shot. It's gonna be a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Into that house. Boof! They're gonna shoot at Rifleman A. Mm -hmm. uh, there's firing one dice. They will only hit on a 10. It's an eight. It's an eight. That's not good enough. Waste it. Yeah, yeah, but also like you just you're still like even when you miss, you got high numbers. <laughs> uh, we will attack Rifleman A with our own Rifleman A. Now we're inside the house. Yep. Uh, so we don't use the in-building cover. We use the regular cover now uh, because uh, they're inside the same building. The yep. building. Doesn't so you're looking for fives. So yep. this, uh, this should be all right. Five or better. Yeah. Where we get the five? So that was A, wasn't a, please. it? Please. Yep. Yep. So I will take out uh, Rifleman A. Uh, and then we're going to machine gun at A, and they're going to appear inside that house. Oh my god. Uh, so could you give me a gun as A, please? There Stick they are. inside the house. Uh, can I see your your, um, your casualties pile, please? <laughs> going to choose who I'm going for here. Yeah, let me just have a look here. So uh, we've got in here, we've got Rifleman A, Rifleman C, Rifleman C, and two Rifleman A's. So there are three Rifleman A's. Okay. Well, uh, there are three Rifleman A's and two Rifleman C's. Yep. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna hit Rifleman A then uh, with an attack. We can't use the attack three because that is a minimum of uh, you have to be uh, no less than or equal to one. Uh, so I can use the attack three. It's a blue one. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, the yeah. blue one is it's close range. The red, yeah. red one is yeah, one. Exactly. So yeah, we're using attack three. We need fives or better to hit oh these riflemen. This is probably a terrible idea. Uh, yeah. Well, there's a ten. Was that A you were shooting? Yeah, A. All right. Uh, and then we're going on. Ooh, this, the storming the house is a bold, bold move. I mean, obviously, you, you kind of need it if it's going to be victory, but... I think we're both looking at a lot Well, of my other option was to sit in the house next to you, just getting shot by snipers, and I guess also a gunner, so... Yeah. I don't think that this is, like, you know... Is it that critical? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Okay, three, two, one. I'm using my nine. My music six. Stick that back. This may have been the wrong call. Uh, Juliana is going to stalk away. Oh. Uh, into this building here. Bop, bop. Um, Ooh. can't move, but stalking. So stalking would let me move into an unscouted one as well. So I could stalk into here. Mm -hmm. uh, for comedy purposes. But then my but... scouts might be knifing you. Yeah, and your gut machine gunners would be closer. And you know <laughs> what? It just doesn't... Her... Something about her experience survival instincts are telling her that maybe it's better to go back the other shape. Being a sniper, it's probably Being better so... to be further away. Yep. But it's also because her attack only works for a minimum. You know, she can't attack with four inside the building, just with one. Oh, um, yes. Uh, that was the... I'd also remembered that and then immediately forgot it. Uh, so gonna B uh, is gonna go for an attack... Uh, across here so one two tiles away plus two because it's from outside the building um so this is two dice will be an eight or better against uh, we're gonna go for rifleman c yep no didn't get it got a seven out of five and then the final card it's a fuck war okay so i live to fight another round yeah yeah you do okay So, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to bring Engineers A into play. 
<laughs> and they're going to show up and they're going to try to blow up your guys in the house. Demo. Nice. Uh, no, not demo. Just no. a normal attack, I think. Just a normal attack. Okay. Well, the demo is... Is it one against everyone? I think the demo will be one against everyone. Maybe including your own people. In Maybe. which case, I think that's a bad idea. Uh, but let's have oh, a check. I, I don't know why I'm looking at this book. I need the rule book. Oh, yeah. I think demo is. Uh, I think demo might be one in e against everyone in the tile, and then four against the house. I don't want to blow up the house, though. I'm there now. <laughs> in the <laughs> house, you've left it's the providing house. Some I don't want to blow up the house anymore. Uh, attacking. For anti-tank and demo, choose any building, tunnel, vehicle, combat on the board. Okay. Right, so is, maybe you oh, can't... Maybe, yeah, no, it's, oh, yeah, it's, sorry, it's, it's, it's only anti-armor, so it doesn't Only anti-armor. Yep, yeah, so I've got an attack here. It's uh, got to be range zero, and it's just two dice. Um, well, that's not so bad. Yeah, it's not so bad. You go for the rifleman or the gunners? Let's blow up rifleman A. Cool. Uh, yeah, rifleman A. That's a six. That's, that's enough. That'll do it. Cool. Find a rifleman A to pick from. I actually Which hit some A. Would we like? It's oh, good. I actually hit uh, some. We can pick that one, or we can pick this one, or that one. We're gonna pick that one. There we go. Rifleman A in there. Okay, and then here is machine gunners A. And machine gunner A, uh, they're gonna shoot. How am I gonna shoot you, Liana? Do I, how desperate am I to get her out of it? You've just played her, so she's a little way off coming back. One, two, three, four, five, she's a ten. Now let's shoot rifleman A to keep you on your toes. So it's four, so it's eight. Yep. Oh, you think no. this again? God, machine gun. Oh, I should a. be thankful for the roll of so far this game. One, oh, two, three, God. four. Oh, so you've got one more. Yeah, here's my platoon sergeant. And he's going to bolster so four. Cool. I'm so excited to bolster four. I'm going to take uh, Rifleman B twice. Yep. Um, yep. And then I'm going to take uh, two Panzer fours. Oh. Good. Uh, so Rifleman B immediately unroutes? Ah, uh, yes. Because you've, you've taken someone to the deck? Yes. This is true. You're correct about that. Oh, I could take Squad Leader B. How do I feel about that? Yeah, okay. Let's stick squad leader B, actually. Okay. I've taken one of the riflemen cool. out and added squad leader B. Yep. Cool. Yes. Cool. Ready when you are? Spicy yep. three, three, two, two one, one, five. Oh, what? Cool. Sticks for me. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to play Rifleman B to move to here. Um, we're going to play Scout B to do an attack on your Rifleman B. Yep, so you're uh, looking for a five. Looking for a five. We get it. Yep. So Rifleman B, please. Even with one eye, she's deadly. Uh, and then Rifleman A are going to make an attack against your Rifleman A. Uh, so this is a 5 or better as well. No. It's a 2. Over to you. Small mercies. Alright, well I've got absolute garbage in my deck. What I do have is Machine Gunner A, who's going to fire uh, at your Rifleman A. Cool. This is 8 or better. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah, it's the same for your Gunners. Uh, nope. Alright, so here's Squad Leader A, who's gonna inspire, inspire him to do it again. Try that again. Yeah. Oh, is this a good... But can he inspire him to roll dice well? Yeah, I don't think so. Nope. God, <laughs> lord. I'm not Are you sure shit. those have, like, above fives on them? <laughs> yeah, uh, Do you want to just check on the camera that, can't like... Can't shit <laughs> this game. Then I've got a fuck of war. Okay. I was doing better when I had a bomber. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, oh, so many decisions. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, I think that's our choice. Three, two, one. Six to seven. seven. Oh. All right. Johannes Painful. takes it again. Um, I will play Scout C to recon this fog of war. Which means I need to reset this whole deck. No, Johannes shouldn't be in it. He should be. And they go straight to discard from initiative. No, when your turn finishes, they go to a discard, I think. Mm, I think that's what we're doing wrong. Because we're putting them into our play area. From yeah. initiative. I think it's still in your play... Oh, yes, sorry, yeah, you from the play area. Yeah, because that was your initiative card. Yes, yeah, so it should be in the discard. Exactly, so get Johannes right yeah. back. Because you love him. Yeah. He's don't your like favorite. Johannes, Johannes can sod off. <laughs> and what's worse is you can't kill him. Yeah. He's impervious yeah, to all of everything. All right, come on, Panzers. Panzers. Come on, Panzers. I don't know why I like them so much. They're not even going to, like... I don't think they're even going to be that effective in this game. But we'll see. Um, it's drawing one. That was not the, like, I was looking at Mike's face. That the, was... like, panzer look. <laughs> yeah. That was not the panzer look. It was, in fact, Engineer A, who's just going to blow you up again. Um, Is he going to shoot? Or... Yeah, he's, he's just going to do an attack. What are you attacking? Uh, Rifleman A. Cool. So I'm looking for fives. Get him. Got a it's ten. Such a good roll that I don't need. Uh... That's a Rifleman A. Get out of here. All right. Um, and here's uh, my own Rifleman A, who's going to do an attack. Uh, he'll attack your Gunner's A. Cool. Now that I know you don't have a Rifleman five A in better. hand, I'd like to get Gunner's A out of your hand if I can. It's a five. Oh, that's devastating. So that's the, that's the that's the Gunner's A from my hand. Yes. And I will tell you now, I was planning to play that Gunner's A and then inspire that Gunner's A. <laughs> oh, to uh, be super mean with bullets. So instead, we're going to be bolstering with Squad Leader <laughs> A uh, to go get some machine gunners. Uh, are we going to get both of them? Well, actually, where's my close-range rifleman? Yep, absolutely. Uh, that rifleman and... Yeah, one of the machine gun. No, we'll go for two riflemen. There we are. Choices. So you bolstered two riflemen. Two riflemen in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last one was a fog of war. Okay. One, two, three. I got. Uh... Hmm. And one. Okay, well, that's our choice. Okay, three, two, one. Seven versus your nut ten. ten. Yep, you hold on to it. It's a big, big price to pay putting out the platoon sergeant like but that. But it tells me that Mike really likes what's about to happen. I've got a scout here who's going to recon. Okay. <laughs> and now I hope that I'm going to like what happens next. Sort of. Uh, it's Panzer IV. Cool. Where do they appear? They appear where Rifleman B is. Okay. Boop. Okay, big old tank. Now he does have move one. He does. It's not my one with assault. So I think <sighs> I'm so tempted to shoot Juliana, <laughs> but it's still fives. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, I mean, I could try and destroy her house, but I don't <laughs> think I want to do that. It's three dice, but it's still... I need tens. Um, that's three at less than zero, so on the tile only. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's them that's that popping out with the machine guns and spraying around. Uh, okay, so they actually can't attack people. They can, they just have to be like on the space with them. But they can anti-tank to, like, demolish a building, and then... 
But that doesn't and, help an, people. And anti-tank can anti-tank has a versus building and versus armor, I think, but not yeah. versus. Yeah. Well, people. it's the same as anti-tank's the same as demo, isn't it? Maybe it's not. Why would demo be different to anti-tank then? Uh, but does they, they not shoot you in the? But anti-tank and demo choose any building, tunnel, or vehicle combat. Yeah. So, the attack versus people is only effective when you're like in the space with them. Oh, that's a bummer. I didn't know that. I feel like that's not what we played with them when we played last time. Did we do it wrong? No, I think that's why you were demolishing the building. Right, but it doesn't. So the but they can only hurt people if they're in their space. Yeah. Hmm. But they can suppress. Yeah. They're just not very precise at hitting like individual people at range. Hmm. They can bring a building down around their ears or make them hide and all. <laughs> Okay, interesting. Interesting. Fans are right on the scene. Everyone's like, well, that's great. You're here. And like, uh, <laughs> yeah, fans are like, do? well, what do I, uh, what can I actually contribute? Uh, not a whole lot. Um, apparently. Um, that's fine then. Let's do, um, Let's do an anti-tank into the L-shaped house. Okay. One, two, three, four away. Um, and seven on the thing, so tens to destroy it. Oh god, that's a lot. Alright, new plan. New plan. I'm just gonna move in here. You can't. Why not? It's a move action, you haven't scouted that yet. Oh god damn it, you're right. <laughs> Panzer can't just stalk where it wants to go? Boom. No. Okay. This is a lot less useful than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I'm not going to lie. All right, that's it then. I'm trying to blow up her house. Cool. Here we go. We're looking for tens. Tens. Nope. Nope. That's a miss. Okay. All right. So then it's uh, rifle uh, machine gunner A shooting at your rifleman A. Go. Cool. That's five or better. Uh, no, 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 it's my machine oh, yeah, yeah, gunner's eight. So it's eight. One, two, eight, yeah. Nope. Nope. Bummer. Okay, so we're going to go Rifleman B to move to here. Then uh, Anya's going to inspire Rifleman B to control here. And then Scout B is going to make an attack versus Rifleman B, which is five. Uh, mm -hmm. Rolling one die. No. Okay. Okay. That was only a three. Sorry about <laughs> Three is not five or more. Sadly. Sadly. Two, one. Oh, three, three two, two, one. one. Seven. Seven to my six. Okay. You ready for this? Yep. Hanging on the edge of my seat. All right. I'm going to play a scout B. They're going to go. Do some scout, scouting. Scout, scout. scout. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, two, two fogs of war, the last two fogs of war in the game for me. Yeah, that's why I haven't been giving you more because it's like you're going to need to take some. I'm so. going to get them all. That's it. I've got all the fog of war. But I have got a fair number amount out. All right. And now I'm going to play my Panzer with Assault. And they're going to just Ooh. drive south and shoot it uh, right, right from B. B. Great. They're Two dice. Two dice. Uh, against five? Yep. Okay. Come on, please. Wait, six. six. Oh. And I've got to lose a right from B from hand. Hey! That, was, that would have been putting you close to game. Yeah, I really needed that. Like, <laughs> this is very painful now. All right, and now I'm going to move my Rifleman B into here. Go. Uh, no, actually, that's a terrible idea. Is it? 
I don't want to leave them there. But also, this doesn't make them massively more defended against anything. I actually think it's better to leave them there and shoot your guy. Again, Rifleman cool. B again. One, two, so that's a six. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Six isn't that bad. <laughs> six isn't that bad. Ooh. This is vicious, this one. Ah! I should have moved them. Six is perfect. <laughs> um, so then, Yuliana has to make a hard choice about who she's going to shoot. God, I hate that sniper. <laughs> Just hate that sniper. <laughs> uh, and I think the... Can I get a little casualty count, please, on your rifleman? Yeah, I think you've got two Bs. I think you've got, like, four As. And... Uh, two C's. Uh, so we're gonna shoot uh, Rifleman A then. Mm -hmm. No, we'll shoot Rifleman B. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yep, yeah, so four plus four is eight. Four dice hitting on eight or better. Oh, I'll re roll that one. <gasps> it was a nine. Better roll that one. Oh, it's gonna. It's gonna... See, you got two fours and seven. No. <laughs> she, this is the first time I think she's, she's ever missed. missed. But potentially the critical moment. Potentially. Or just another moment in this ongoing war. It's true. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, a real. I've gone for nine. And six. Right, we're gonna have uh This Rifleman A is gonna drop a grenade on this square. <laughs> uh so we're making attack versus all of your people in this square. Right. Um so we'll start with the engineers. Um uh so they there are six or better, one die. No. Net for do Rifleman C, uh, who are a five or better to hit. No. Oh my god. And then Rifleman A, who are a five or better to hit. Yeah, got one. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to have a Rifleman A, who's going to do an attack versus... Your Rifleman C uh, is rolling two dice. This is inside the same square. Uh, so this is to get, uh, this is five or better on two dice. Come on. Get it yeah. just about as a five. Oh, so Rifleman C. C. Uh, and then we're going to play Scout B to move in here think is the answer uh actually no scout b is just going to shoot rifleman b so one dice five or better <laughs> that's my third five so i think they're routed so you can move them if you want uh oh no there's one here sorry i keep checking my that's deck right. and i know it's wrong i keep thinking that yeah i don't know why that's I not keep in that. yeah i don't know why i keep him that up first for what it's worth, there's only two cards, and I don't think that information is going to help me at all. <laughs> yep. I don't know why I'm shuffling my discard either. Okay. Uh, right. So I've got Machine Gunner A, who's shooting at uh, your Rifleman A, uh, which is eights. Yep. Yep, gets it. So it's a Rifleman A. And then I've got a uh, squad leader who's going to inspire him to shoot again. Uh, the rifle. Okay, well, it might be about to be both of them. This would be my first pick. Yep. Yep. Second pick. Bam. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this tank is not helpful. I should have just stuck with the bomber and never called in the uh, reinforcements. One, two, three. Mm hmm. Okay, uh, so if 
find the one. Let me, uh... Okay, three, two, one, it's the fog of war. The squad leader, Johannes, wins it again every time! Johannes defeats the fog of, fog of war, masterminding. All right, I'm going to start off with the panzer shooting at Rifleman B. Cool. So it's three dice, looking for five. Yep. Yep, he's got it. Okay, and now it's... Oh, it's from uh, my hand the uh, gunners into Rifleman A again. Cool. Nope. nope. They missed this time. And that's me. That's my turn. Over to you. Cool. Oh, wait. I have a fog of war. <laughs> I will do nothing with it. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to play Rifleman B to move into here. And inspire them to And then to Anya to inspire to control. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I should have shot at them with the gunners A. Uh, the gunners. Oh, gunners I would have missed A, anyway. Gun. Yeah, I would have uh, yeah, missed with that result. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, anyway, so I had two rifle B and Anya. I was like, I have to play the fog of war. <laughs> like, because if I didn't get killed, it's going to be a problem. Uh, yeah. Nice one. So you've won. Oh, just about though. Though, God, the casualties for both of us. Look at those piles. Yeah, it's crazy. Um. You, yeah. You were out of rifleman A. You had quite a few Bs left. Um, C might have died soon, so then I think we would have been in this weird stalemate where, like, you know, you, you would you still needed to capture this, so you would have had to get your rifleman B down here and up there. To yeah, but I don't think next. I was that far off routing your riflemans. No, probably not. Um, you had two Bs left. I, I had two Bs. Well, I had, uh, well, yeah, you just killed one. I had two in my deck, you just killed one, so one and two. And then A's, I think they're all gone. Uh... I think you like took care of them last time. Yeah, all of the A's are gone. So yeah, I was close to losing my rifleman as well. Mm -hmm. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Uh, right. So here's my casualties. Eleven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> so I think that's more than 10 each. So we're taking three of these each. Uh, right. I'm just going to remove the ones that it can't be because we're there's gonna quite so a lot of those. Yeah, let me have a look and see if there's actually any left after I do that. So there's the discard. Uh, there are only there. two it can't be. There are a lot of my guys. This this took this took a, this is, this took a lot of lives, Mike. This took a lot of lives. But at least you won it. Like It also took a lot of lives for me and I didn't even win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of the riflemen from my existing squads are all kaput. Kaput. Actually, no. There's a lot of riflemen A here as well that are. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, I think there goes all my veterans. <laughs> I think everyone here is a veteran. Nope. It's three for three. Yikes. Do you want to pick <laughs> three from this array? For him, find. Uh, so there's a Rifleman A. That's my Rifleman A with the grenade. Uh, here's a regular Rifleman A. This is and here's oh Rifleman my, A. It's all this Rifleman A just there. Rifleman A like, squad is being and that was the one absolutely like. pummeled. Oh. Grim, grim, grim. Alright. Well, remember, you can actually kill these guys because some of them are Cs, and I still don't know how casualties work for C. Uh, right. What? An A. Two, a C. And three, another A, one of the, the veterans. Oh, veterans. that's my sniper guy from Squad A, so that's a shame. Uh, but right. then the rest goes back in here for veterancy. Yeah. So let's do so... this first. So he's just dead, as far as I'm, I'm aware. Poor wounded rifleman. Until we find out more about how that possibly works. He's just dead. Right, four. Oh, six or oh, seven. Four, 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 four. Oh dear! So my sniper's gone just from a uh, 
a sniper to someone who can't even take control of things. And this, this guy's just lost the initiative. This guy's gone from the ability to a grenade and control to do neither of those. Just... Oh dear. Well, they were brave. We couldn't even... This guy's lost his PPSH and replaced it with a shovel. <laughs> no, I dropped my gun. I should have just kept the ball. <laughs> I don't think it's flanking maneuver. It was fun. I don't know if <laughs> it, it was, was very cool. Good, um, but I'm glad I did it because it's fun to do, um, and it's kind of cool to be like surprise. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't like tell me I have a secret rule and then I don't. The, the... <laughs> like, it's just not gonna work. All right, let's see if we can get some uh, veterans then. Uh, uh, right, so it can't make be us any feel of them. Better about what happened there. Can't be any of them. Uh, can't be that one, can't be that one, can't be nope. that one. Nope. Uh, nope. Who else can't, can't uh, be, can't yep. be, can't be, can't be, can't be. No, nope. can't be. <laughs> there are only two people that can be, because they're already veterans and they're not, uh, run oh, there's also these. Uh, I got Machine Gunner A and Scout A. Can't be a fog of war. Can't be Maxim, it could be a Scout. Couldn't be that Scout, couldn't be that Scout, couldn't be that one. Couldn't be that one. So it's going to be two of these three. <laughs> we'll go that one. We got a rifle from B upgrade, and we got the rifle from B upgrades. The one we missed was our scout A. Oh, good. For rifle upgrades there. don't tend to last very long. No, they? they don't. You're like, you're useful. Please get in the fight. And it's like, oh no. Um, okay. I've got a new action. It's called Explore One. I don't even know what that is. Uh, I think Explore might let you move in. Uh, without uh, taking the fog of war, but I won't know. Oh, scout without fog taking fog of war. It's possible. I'll, I'll well, he's got it. binoculars. I think it might be he can scout. scout without moving at all. Oh, that'd be cool. I guess is that actually that useful though? I don't know. I don't know. Especially if you can scout like across the map for different units. Yes, yeah, so if you can scout like any space, that would be amazing. Uh, right, my rifle and B have gained assault and command, which are very cool. Don't so like I'm that. Glad to hear that, because don't like that. Very gory. Um, and the rifle and D did win the get win win the day, um, so it feels appropriate. My scout A squad is getting to be quite elite. Concerning, but I will have to take them down a uh, <laughs> two in the future. No. Oh. You leave them alone. <laughs> right, and then we'll return them all to their homes. Oh, jeez. So we've got some uh, homework to do, I guess. We've got a mark down that uh, Luke won another one. <laughs> hey, it's been 1-1. One, one. We've been trading evenly. <laughs> it's my turn again. <laughs> God, I only got, I had three Fog of Wars left in that whole game. Like... I got I reconned every eight, seven fogs of war. Well, I was trying to slow you down and fill it up, and I was like, you know, and I felt at the start it felt good, and then when I started going for like, can I get my bees over here to capture all of this? Like, mm. is it going to be available? Uh, I should have shot rifleman B more instead of. I should have focused the gunners and the panzers on one unit, which would have had to be rifleman B because apparently the panzer can't shoot anything, um, or at least suppress them. Yeah, I think suppressing with the... I think rather the shot that should have gone on you down there probably should have been a suppress versus right from B. Yeah, um, that would have been a much better thing. I just... I really wanted to kill that sniper. <laughs> I hate her so much. Yeah, I'm <laughs> such a pro. She's so good, yeah. I'm, I'm sad that I don't have, like, any elite snipers either. I mean, to be fair, I also don't have any dead snipers. Well, you can't have them, but... I've just not been using them enough. I need to start getting my snipers out. I've been enjoying the tanks too much all right where are we going from here Luke? uh right so this was uh that's my little scenario but so what was this this was scenario 091 uh 091 we were in state 9j and we're going to, we've gone for soviet vic soviet victory which takes us to r26 uh we'll have to find out what that means R26 sounds very yeah, yeah, we're, like, we're st only like halfway through? I don't know. I think this this might be moving us towards an endgame state. We'll find out. R26 is briefing 480. 
Oh, you're supposed to read a briefing when I attack you. Oh, really? I completely forgot. When I flank you, you're supposed to read briefing 455. Oh, I hope it doesn't give you some special rules. 455. I mean, you won anyway. <laughs> uh, but also, uh, I feel bad. 455? Five, five. I don't have a 455. Five. Oh, am I supposed to read briefing 455? 446? Five? Uh, let me find out. I was it so... would have been 446. Four, 446 four, is you have been flanked. The Germans are placing new tiles and units on the board. They've also gained access to their B squad. The German objective is now to control 10 points. Your objective is still to control 10 points. Okay, so it's good to just inform me of those rules. Oh, we, okay. we, didn't, we didn't miss out too much. It's okay. Good. Um, <laughs> yeah, but we've now entered the R board states, which are very mysterious. 480 or 408? 480 for R26. 480. Scenario. Uh, 480 and 480 takes us to, I think, we might be getting into some funky stuff here. Uh, 480 is the Germans are reorganizing. Record your game state based on the table below. Uh, so then we go, so the current state is R26. So our next state is 10N. The scenario? No, not a scenario. We're getting a new state code. Uh, which is 10N, 10 November, which is briefing 156. All right, so do I put that in line 10 Yes, then? yeah, unused, yeah, it's 10N. 156. 156, and 10N. Uh, oh my god. 156. What does this mean? The Germans are reorganizing. 156 will be playing scenario 101 for us to learn all sorts of new things. Is that for row 10? That's for row 10, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh no, the game state is still 10N. The game state is 10N. Oh, it's scenario, scenario 101. Is 101. Okay. Understood. Whew. Uh, well, we'll find out all about what that means. Uh, Everything's gotten more complicated. Yes. Uh, scenario 101. One it's... of these days, I'm going to do something useful with these tanks. <laughs> oh, it's going to be... Yeah, we have so many potential states now. Thank <laughs> you. It's enormous. Right. Oh, that's the state where I just get to win. <laughs> that's, uh, the, that's the state where first time tanks wins. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen any tanks. I really hope I get some tanks sometime. Like, well, when you do, I'll have an elite Panzer Force ready to anti-tank them. <laughs> maybe, well, maybe, maybe some anti-aircraft guns. That'd be nice. Like, yeah. Oh, so no. something to do about those bombers because I'm not enjoying them. <laughs> yeah, more bombers, please. Bring back the bomber card. I think that should be auto included if you lost the last game. Just get the bomber. <laughs> have bombers. Have bombers. <laughs> yeah, have more bombers. Level more of the city. <sighs> oh my god. I mean, I don't know. Like, it's interesting how this game escalates because I haven't played many of the bigger scenarios from Normandy and North Africa. Um, I do some. I do feel a bit like when you start getting cards like the bombers and stuff. Um, it can become very precarious because of the vulnerability of the rifleman. Yeah. Yeah, but it, yeah. Yeah, failing to bolster your rifleman is always something you need to stay on top of. Like, how many riflemen do I have? How many casualties can I, like, will I reasonably be subjected to? Yeah. Unreasonably. Like, subjected. it's, a, like, it's, a, I think, like, if, if, I'd, if, if someone was new to the game and they're like, you know, give me a tip. It's my first game. What's the tip? I'd say, uh, whenever you bolster, consider adding riflemen. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, it's a deck builder. But it's a deck builder where really you're trying to buy riflemen and maybe one or two other nice things. Yeah, if you, <laughs> yeah. Make sure you've got a couple of your riflemen in almost all cases. Like unless you know you're going for a win or like there's some mm -hmm. very specific reason why your riflemen are definitely safe. Like, you know, be be conscious of your rifleman count, mm -hmm. um, which is maybe why ours have suffered quite so many casualties. It's not really a good life to be a rifleman on the front. Oh my god! It's not really been a good life to be anyone, but especially not them. Except my glorious nobles. Well, I still haven't found any tunnels. <laughs> I've not been forced into a tunnels, is maybe the thing. Like, yeah, well, so Is that what's supposed to happen? Am I supposed to I force you into the know. tunnels and then come into the Russian HQ via tunnels? Mm, I don't know. We'll find out. Because oh, that's I have to go into the river. I don't know. Anyway, I have no idea how much more of this we have to do. But uh, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying the game. And uh, we're certainly having a good time. So we'll keep playing it anyway. But, uh, sure. <laughs> if you want to come along, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications so you don't miss it, and I will see you all in the next video. There won't be one next week because Luke has to go away, but uh, we'll be back as soon as we can. 
which is another reason to turn on notifications. Yeah. In the meantime, we'll see you all in the next one. And a big thanks to all the patrons who've watched this, who are catching up on it, who support the show. We couldn't be doing this content without you. And uh, remember, if there's something in particular you want to see, you can always let me know on our brand new Patreon Discord. Bye for now. Cheers all. Thank you. Bye.